Hiya, Premis. How's it going? Oops. Yes, let's have double sound. Okay. Oh, bring up the camera a bit. Uh, good enough. It's okay. Good. Alrighty, man, what happened to my... I had the game all set up. Oh, there we go. When I had the game going, uh, I'd say last time, the character married someone in the village I didn't really want to. So I dumped the whole save, restarted it, and now I'm just slowly going through the motions again. I meant to say it twice as a joke, but your bot stopped me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, the bot is just really picky. All right, so why aren't you showing up over here, users? Yeah, you're not showing up. Wow, well, dumb. Okay. Anyway. All right. Um, we were doing this. Oh, well, we might as well talk to Grandma. Oh, no. It's not what I wanted to do, you dummy. I said talk to Grandma. To everything there is a season... But even that can be negotiated sometimes. Oh, okay, we can get this one, and we gotta get more water. So when I was in, um, no, this way. When I was in uh, Cheesy's chat earlier, um, he wanted me to let him know when I was going live, but then I ran in the kitchen to grab something to eat real quick. I come back and he was raiding out and I never had a chance to tell him, eh, ball game is almost over, wait, you know, but well, well, whatever. So I put all my info in his Discord. It's like, oops, oh well. So whether or not he is still online in his Discord or wherever, you know, I don't know if he'll get the, the notification that I did decide to you know, go, bleh, I can talk, go live and stream, so. Because he said he wanted to know. Yeah, I mean, it don't matter. This is just, uh, you know, something to keep me going while I half listen to the basketball game. Oh man, where'd you go? Oh, okay, I was able to get you. Uh, oh, there we are. Good. Um, our Milwaukee Bucks are playing Miami Heat. We're in the um in the playoffs, and because we got top seed, we got wait, what? Oh. Um, we got game one over by us, so it's like, ugh, you know, can, can we do it? We had, I think it was 10 days. I think I could eat some food to recover some oh, strength. Oh, crap. Or try again tomorrow. Oh, crap, 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 crap.
Okay, good enough. Um, we got top seed, which meant that, you know, game one was going to be here by us. I don't know about game two or anything just yet, but man, the start of the game was really rough. Miami had us in the hole for quite a while. So it's like, eh, you know. Okay, I don't see Thomas anywhere. What the hell? Ew, Thomas, where are you? Okay, blueberries aren't there yet. Thomas, hello. Oh, there you are. Good. So how long's the farm been in your family, Thomas? My dad used to come over on the ferry to work in the mine after the harvest was done for the year. One day, Hazel mentioned the land was for sale. Mom wasn't too sure about leaving our family and community back in Milkwater, but once she saw the view, she knew Dad had found something special. Cool. Oh, you know, oh crap, I just realized I should have started counting the days, weeks. I think I'm in week two. I don't remember. Shoot, that was something I wanted to, like, do when I restarted the whole game. Poop. Poop, poop, poop. Oh, well. I did quite a bit so far in my to-do list, and now I've just got what's there. Oh, I'm working on potatoes. Okay. Um, shoot, I gotta go fishing again. I need... Oh, I got enough money. I need to go visit Bruno, go get some more bait so I can go fishing. I already got past the part where Tara found out I'm a witch. Bruno likes to tell stories when we're waiting for nibbles on our lines. I don't think that most of the tales he tells of fish that got away are true, but I feel like he's happy to have someone else on the docks he can tell them to. Very true. All right, so I've got things growing for her. Does the bar have a name? Sure does. The bar. That isn't a name. Well, it's what I like everyone it. calls yeah, it, Damon so calls it seems like a name bar. to me. The bar. Nope, that's not a name. Sorry. Nope, 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 nope. That is not a name for a bar. My Helena passed a few years before Sophia lost Giacomo. I try to give her the best of my catch to cook up in a diner. She's always blasting that music, but I don't mind. If it helps her to dance away her sorrows, I say all the better. Okay, so bait, let's see. Um, five, six. Uh, we'll buy 10. We'll buy ten crickets. Let's see, forty, yeah. Okay, so we've got all three bait. A uh, small little fishy called a chub, some worms, and some crickets. Now we can go fishing. Huh. <sighs> This may sound funny, but the bar stool on the far left is my favorite. <laughs> That's where Giacomo sat the first time he walked into my diner 15 years ago. He and Marcus, Lena's father, were supposed to be talking about something serious. Oh, but Giacomo only had eyes for me. Sure he did. Ho, oh, Angus's donuts are ono. They're not quite like the ones at home, but close enough. Oop, nope, 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 nope. Let's hit the right buttons. 
Oh, excuse me. Every time I think I've finished all my patient's insurance paperwork, I find more. Our insurance system is almost bad enough to drive me out of this field. Mm, almost. Uh, almost. Yeah. Can we get, like, you know, free healthcare? That would work. I'm so glad Sophia has her cafe just around the corner from the Consciousness Center. Counseling my members doesn't leave me much time for cooking, and my culinary attempts tend not to go too well. Okay. Uh, let's see, 510, shoot. Everybody on this level, I think, is already done for the day. Wait a minute, Parker, Parker, Parker. I caught Finn digging through our backyard looking for worms. I thought, how entrepreneurial. He's gonna sell them to Bruno for bait. But no, he was planning to put them on Vanessa's chair. Ha <laughs> I would too. I like Sophia. She always gives us free snacks after school. Unlike some people who own bakeries that I could name. But I won't. But if I did, the first part rhymes with Fang. And the second rhymes with bus. Wow, little tattletale. I hope mommy remembers to bring peppermint home from the store. She said it's a natural way to keep spiders away. And I want them far away. Spiders give me the heebie jeebies. Me too. Ooh, don't go anywhere. I want to go out surfing, but Kai says I need a wetsuit. Where am I supposed to find a wetsuit around here? See, this is why I want to move to the city. So you used to live in a really cool city and chose to move here? Like, on purpose? Yep. Okay. Yep, that's kind of like what I say, like, okay? Oh, where am I going? Um, do I have anything to do in the woods? Um, brew miracle girl potions for the acolyte witch. Shoot. But I bet I don't have anything to brew for them. Eh, crap. I heard you were the one who fixed up the mine. <laughs> That's so awesome. Otto was never going to get around to it. I saw Francis earlier today and he actually looked excited about going to work. Did the bees make any honey yet? No, but they're working on it. I think? It, it's hard to tell. Make sure you give them lots of flowers. A good variety helps too. Alrighty. So while I run back home, try to see what I can make for those potions. If I have anything. If not, we just end the day and yeah. I don't have anything. Hmm? Oh wait, I can go fishing in the in the woods. Okay, so what do I need? Miracle Grow. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Alright, how long are you gonna be? Eight hours. Ah, uh, fine. Alrighty, well, we got that going. Might as well run all the way back to the woods. Go fishing. <sighs> Just to get something so I can make money. Because I need money. I was holding off in the beginning. I was holding off um, buying things. Because I knew I was going to need money for stuff. Um, nothing there, nothing there. Ooh, toadstools. Ooh, flowers. Yes, we'll grab them right away. Okay. Oop, kitty. 
Oh, such a good cat. Hi, kitty. Pretty kitty. Hey, nothing, nothing. I see nothing except for big trees. I want to be able to upgrade my my axe, but I need money. Oh, another toadstool. Cool. All right. Um, we'll use a little fishy. Come on, big fishies! I need a big fishy. Okay, that'll work. Please be a carp. Yes! Okay, that works. Okay, another big fishy. Can I get another big fishy? Yes! <laughs> gotcha! Another carp. Yes, thank you. Okay, we'll use another worm. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Oh. Nope, nope, not a little fish. I don't want a little fish. Go away. <gasps> okay, catfish. Good enough. But I don't think there's going to be any more big fish over here. Doesn't look like it. Oop, well, it's midnight. I guess I have to run back home. Crap. Okay, so we can come back into the woods tomorrow morning. Oops, went the wrong way. Grab one more carp, and then I think that'll be enough to give to Kim. Okay, Parker's heading home. Grandma's heading home. Takes Grandma a while to get home. Okay, we got the potion going. I've got two carps. Should I go to bed? Yes. Bees are making honey. I've got crops growing. Okay, we're doing good. Doing good. Finding you need a boost in energy to get something done? Brew up a batch of that restorative tea at the stove and drink it, hmm? Okay, do I have enough, um, things? Ooh, yes. Um, we'll make three. Very smoothie. Okay, I don't have that just yet, honey lemon. Don't have that yet. Okay. <gasps> yes, we got honey. Woohoo! Sweet. Can take that to Violet, get money. Oh my god. <laughs> the basketball game is really sucking. Miami's up by 14 right now. Shoot. Ooh, 30 minutes and we'll have that soil. Okay. Um how long on no cauliflower has two days. Alright. Potatoes have one day. Thank you. How much on this? Two days on the wheat. Alright. Oh, yes. I need three of them. 
Ah, crap. Okay, well, I need soil. And I don't... You've got mail. What do we got? Oh, hi. I wanted to let you know that now you have access to all that lovely ore. I can upgrade your tools for you. Upgrading your axe will allow you to cut down trees and a better pickaxe will let you clear some of the larger rocks on your farm. Best, Natalia. Okay, fine. I kind of sort of already knew that. Oh, yes, soil. Thank you. Alrighty, so we got that. We'll have to go downstairs, make another miracle growth. Alrighty, got that done. Um, I mean, not done done, but done and working. Okay, oops. Yes, this a mushroom. In the beginning, it's so hard to try to find stuff. Okay, all right, so we did the front half, back half. Now we're gonna go over here, see what else we find. Oh, I wanna, you know, like bust up all these rocks, but it takes all the energy and, man. I suppose we're gonna have to back some energy. Uh. Okay, so what all... Alright, oh, yes. Violet. Gotta hurry up and run by Violet. I think she's at her store today. Now, of course, knowing the game as far that I have, you know, went along in the other safe. Yes. Hi. Oh, hey there. Are you ready to help your neighbors reach the pinnacle? Uh, no. Pinnacle of what? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Everyone knows about the pinnacle. Francis in the background is shaking the his head like, is the very mm -hmm. foundation Ooh, of the League don't of the do Conscious it, Mind. Don't do it. This community is ready for some new ideas, but. I'm running out of pamphlets. If you could find me some paper, I'll make sure you are rewarded. Monetarily or spiritually? Both. Ooh, yeah. See, he gave the smirk like, what? So, you've decided to climb the pinnacle too? What? No, Cameron just asked for some paper. I heard. For printing pamphlets, which will help spread his ideas. Don't get me wrong. Cameron's a nice guy, but I don't trust the League. And it's strange either. to see Angus get caught up in this. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking about it like that. I figured it's easier to act like everyone on the island has good intentions, right? Hey, I'll pay you for that paper too. I could always use more wrapping paper for the store. I did promise Cameron. I know, I know. Just think about it. <sighs> Yeah, and that right there is the choice. I did it for Francis last time. I'm debating of doing it for Cameron this time. Ugh, I yeah. know you've got a lot on your plate, caring for your grandma and all, but don't forget to take some time to decompress. 
Damon's Bar is a great place to unwind at the end of a long day. And his whiskey's not half bad. <laughs> it, well, it's not half good either, but needs must, as my grandpa used to say. Um, sure. All right, what's on here? <gasps> no, damn it, I bought the worms for me. Oh, crap. I just bought them from you. Why? Why? Why would I give my worms back to you, Bruno? Fine. Perfect! You are exactly who I was hoping to see today. Hey, Mersoft. What's up? An opportunity has presented itself for you to give back to the town. Yay! The town stores are empty, and we need them refilled as quickly as possible. Empty? Uh, where did they all go? I was... They were... That is to say... That's not really important right now. What matters is that we put them back before anyone wants to use them and notices, okay? Notices? D do you mean they were stolen? What? Oh, oh yes. Yes, that is exactly what happened. Will you help me refill them? I, I guess. The no. Weed. Wonderful. You'll need to get two iron, 10 wood, and 10 stone. You need to get them to me ASAP or I'll or we'll all be in big trouble. Ah, oh, liar, liar, liar. Tell me you've got the supplies. We're running out of time here. <laughs> yeah, I should make them wait. I think I'm just going to tell them it'll take a while. Uh, th there's a lot to do. I'm still working on it. Well, hurry. <laughs> we don't have much time. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fool. Our community is full of caring and clever people. That's why they voted for me. <laughs> That's a little mayor humor. No, you know, you basically forced the people to vote for you. They didn't exactly vote for you. I know I got the stuff he needs, but uh-uh. No way, man. Did the bees make any honey yet? Bee, hold. <laughs> See? I told you they wouldn't sting you if you stepped up nicely. Uh-huh. Local honey is super popular. Sebastian drowns his pancakes in the stuff. And not in maple syrup? That's a breakfast crime. I know. Weird, right? <laughs> but our mom used to eat pancakes like that, too. My guess is he does it as a way of remembering her. Did your mom pass away? No. Um... I don't think so. Listen, here's some more tulip seeds. Sorry, should I not have... The more you plant, the more likely you are to attract bees. A win-win. Woohoo! Yes, 130 gold. I'll take that, thank you. I can't believe how much you've already improved Hazel's garden. But don't run yourself down. Otherwise, you'll get a lecture from Amira. She will, like, make you better, though. Uh-oh. Okay, so is that friendly advice or what? <sighs> I wish we had lockers instead of cubbies. It would be so much easier to hide my pranking stuff that way. Uh -huh. Dude! Most of the time, I don't mind the twins, but they have like an energy level of an entire busload of kids. It would be cool if they could bring it down a notch, you know? Ooh, dang! Burn! Ami, what's wrong? Nothing. Sometimes I just get scared. Sebastian lost his mom, then Julia lost her dad. What if something like that happens to my mom and dad? Don't worry. They're okay. They don't seem okay. They're always having words. I probably wasn't supposed to tell you that. Whoops. Do you ever go by Damon's Pub, Vanessa? Oh, I step in on occasion, but Otto really prefers to spend quiet evenings at home. Really? Well, what about like a girls' night out? Well, no one's ever invited me to one, to be honest. I guess it could be fun. Well... 
I actually know the truth about you and I wouldn't invite you anywhere. Oops, spoiler. Do you ever miss home, Parker? Well, Fairhaven is home now, but I miss my brother. He thought I was crazy to follow Lena out here, but he came to visit after the twins were born. And you know what? This town might be a bit sleepy, but he gets it now. Our dad worked his whole life, but in the city, he could only afford our little apartment. But here, my kids can see the stars at night. Oh, that's kind of cute. Alrighty, 320. All right, let me go back in the woods. Um, ah, Amira. Some people think Shelby is odd, and he is. But that's what makes him delightful. If you ever treat him with anything less than kindness, you will be hearing from me. After you hear from your grandmother, I'm sure. Okay. Wow. That was like a... You know, shake the finger really stern and... Okay. Alright, I don't see anything. Oops. Oh, nope, I didn't get a chance to talk to her yet, but I will right after Shelby. Finding your way here on the island? Yes. Well, the longer I'm here, the more it feels like coming home. Sometimes I'll turn a corner and I'll be hit by some memory from when I was a kid. Like making sandcastles at the beach with Grandpa. <sighs> Memories funny like that. You're lucky to have such ties to this place. It's special. This place feels so small, but whenever we go off island, I feel small. Yeah. Alrighty, um, all right, big fish, big fish, big fish, dang, I don't want a bottle, no, I want the fish, I want the fish, no, 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 fish, 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 dang it, I have to take the bottle. Oh, I found something, a recipe. Bagel. Ooh wee. Okay. Um, can I go back? Yes. Okay. Good. We'll go back to the worm. Big fish. Oh dang it! Not another bottle. <gasps> no, go away, little fish. Oh, yes. Yeah. Please be a carp. Please be a carp. Woohoo! We got the carp. Oh man, so I can't. Oh yes. Okay. All right, where's the bottle? Oh well. All right. I lost that bottle. Cool. Got another carp. Okay. Oh, come on. Can't I fish here anymore? Man, what a rip. All right. Give me that big fish. Yes. Excellent. I've got all the fish for Kim and two extra that I can either keep or sell. Woohoo! Yes! Oops, kitty. Aw, who's a good kitty? Wow, it's going on quarter after eight and grandma's first now coming in? Dang, she's late. We cannot let the townspeople know our true identities. Witches have died this way. 
But I know who you are. Don't go near the standing stones. Our coven has kind of a bad history with them. Lots of witches keep a couple of cauldrons so they can have a few potions brewing. Oh, but... Uh, I don't have the money or the resources. I know which ones who transform into a hawk she saw gliding majestically above her. The bird knew how to fly, but she didn't. It was a mess. Uh. Light follows the darkness. Remember that. Okay. Hi, Priestess. I've always wanted to know. Does it help when spells rhyme? For some, it does. It helps to think of creating incantations like writing poetry or composing music. You build on different aspects as you conjure. Sometimes that can be as simple as a rhyme to help you remember. Okay. All right, so now let's see what Grandma has. What? The Acolyte was the last witch initiated into our order. She can help guide you. Okay. And with that, we're going to head back home. Oops, is there anything? Nope, okay. Thought I saw something I could pick up, but guess not. Mm. All right, so we know there was at least a few people that we didn't get to talk to, namely uh, Natalia. I don't think we talked to Angus. But we'll do some more talking and, you know, getting to know everybody tomorrow. Ooh, we are almost out of energy, too. Dang. Okay. Dang it, I don't have any soil. Uh, all right, do I have any, did any soil? Yes, no crap. Ah, oh, 10 hours. All right, so I won't be able to make the last one until mm. the morning. Is it time for bed? Yep, go to bed. Okay, so Saturday, the end of another week. Finding you need a boost in energy to get something done? Brew up a batch of that restorative tea at the stove and drink it. Hmm? Okay, yes, Grandma, we will do that. Um, okay, we can't do nothing yet. Um... Please be ready, please be ready, please be ready. Aw, oh, dang it. Not quite yet. Woo, we got potatoes. Heck yeah. All right, let's see what, um, do, 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 do. How much wheat are we going to need? Poop. Uh, we'll just plant some more potatoes. That'll work. Ugh. Alrighty. Everything's there. Um, in order for us to water the flowers, we'll have to, you know like collect those plant new ones but i want to keep what we got it makes the bees kind of work faster um let's see do i have enough to make nope because i need soil crap Ech. Oh, we are nearing the end. Well, not 
really, really nearing the end, but we're closing in on nearing the end of the third quarter. From what I heard, it sounded like Miami has still got the lead. Come on, Bucks. Got to do it. Okay, got that one, got that one. I saw another weed. There we go. Oh, two weed. Yay. Cool. All right, right now I can only chop down little trees. Of course, you know, we can do the rocks and whatever, but. Um, okay, so. All right, Kim, Bruno. Uh, we're waiting to grab the last soil to do this. We're kind of sort of working on this. Oh, paper. Um. Ooh, yes. Okay, that works, that works, yes. We can go in, get the last one going. That's going to take a while. The paper I think I saw was five. Three. Okay, that's three. All right, I need one more. Okay, so take the paper to either Cameron or Francis. And this time I think I'm going to go Cameron. All right. Um, okay, we want to go down. Oh, wait, Kim... Is Kim actually going to be in her store? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Nope, she's closed. She's only open three days out of the week. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Dang it. Violet said you got some honey for her. Oh, I feel for her and Sebastian. My dad's job took him on the road most of my childhood, too. Well, they've got each other, at least. Natalia is so sweet. Fine, I suppose I'll give him what I got. Tell me you've got the supplies. We're running out of time here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. You stole everything. Yes, it's right here. <laughs> Jeez. Take a breath and calm down. Well, you cut it pretty close, Missy. There was no need to unsettle me so. <clears throat> oh, pa, please. Well then, <laughs> here's your pay for handling this trifling matter. Thanks. So, are you going to tell me what this was all about now? Oh, sorry. I am not at liberty to discuss town business with you. Good day. Liar, liar, pants on fire. All right, go ahead, sit down. I'll talk to you. My wife, Vanessa, is an amazing teacher and first lady of Fairhaven. She's too good for me. Yeah, you got <laughs> that kidding. right. I'm kidding. Why? Have you heard anyone say that? Yep, she is too good for you. Wait till you find out what she is. Na 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 na. Um, no, we're not gonna give it to hey, him. We're gonna. I heard you're the one to thank for the mine being fixed. This is so exciting. Maybe my little business will finally pick up some steam. Oh, I hate to deny Francis, but nope. I was hoping to give Lena some tulips for our anniversary, but Violet's all sold out. I've been checking every day to see if she gets some in stock, but now I think Violet's avoiding me. Are you growing any flowers on your farm? 
Yes. Yes, I planted a few flowers. That's great. Lena's never really understood why I love flowers so much, but she does like tulips. I think it's because they're Dutch. Oh, is Lena Dutch? Um, no, Norwegian, but that's kind of close, right? Not even remotely. <laughs> Geography was never really my strongest subject. Anyway, if you have any tulips to spare, you would really save the day. Okay, I'll let you know if I've got some. Awesome, thanks. <sighs> Fine, that means I'm going to have to pick what I got. Poop! All right, Bruno, Bruno, oh yeah, Bruno's there, fine. Here, have some of the worms back. Just what I was asking for. Thanks kindly. Yeah, I bought them from you, now I gotta give them back to you. Sophia's food is great, and it sure beats dining with Vanessa and Otto at the mayor's mansion. Do you know what a macrobiotic diet is? It's a horror is what it is. Dang. Calm down. Calm down. All right. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Kim, 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 Kim. Ooh, can I give them to you here? Oh, yes. Nice work. I needed this. <laughs> Angus cracks me up. Like, I know I shouldn't laugh at his corny jokes. It just encourages him. But I can't help it, okay? I like a good pun. Yep, got that right. Ooh, Lena, where are you going? Oh, Parker's so supportive of me, so I try to support him too. But out of all the hobbies he could have taken up, he had to pick the League of the Conscious Mind? What? You don't like it? No, it's, it's not that. It's just, I don't trust people who tell you that you're the only obstacle between yourself and true happiness. Um, yeah. All right. All right, guys. Be right back. Got to run all the way down here. Go see Cameron. Give him his paper. See how this one's going to shape up. Do you have the paper yet? Here's your paper. Oh, excellent. We'll have so many more pamphlets printed just in time for our new seminar offerings. I know you had to cut down quite a few trees to make this for me. You know what? I would really rather not think about that. Hey, those trees gave their lives what? to help free this town from the Valley of Disillusionment. You'll see. Well, I should have went with Francis. I think I would have got paid more. Otto offered to move the graveyard when I first moved in. Ew, really? He said he didn't want my members to be put off by the constant reminder of their mortality. In truth, I think it's hard for him to pass it each day on his way to the mayor's mansion. But I think life's brevity is what gives us our purpose. We must seize every moment. Well, in time, this cemetery is going to prove to be in the right spot. But that's all I'm going to say. Because y'all will see... All right, um, oops. Okay, um, oh, yes. I have to go back by Angus. Shoot. Shoot, we got to go back up there quick because otherwise he's going to close and I won't be able to get to him. Run, Tara, run! Oh, is that what I think it is? Yes. Here's your potatoes and mushrooms. Yay! These pierogies are going to be so awesome. Here's your cut and some croissants. You must be starving. Woohoo! What you doing, Angus? Thinking up a new viral baked good. Something that people would be willing to queue for hours to get so they could post it on the social medias. <laughs> you know, like those croissants that have donut filling. Oh. What about like a half bagel, half cupcake? A bup cake! Mm. No, that won't work. Um, no, that won't work. Alrighty. Whew! 
Ooh, look at the money. All right, we got money. Um, no, I already went by Francis, so nope, let's head back down. Shoot, where did Kai go? Ah, dang. Did you know that the original meaning of libations is offering to the gods? So when you think about it, my bar is kind of a, like a temple. Does that make it respectable enough for Otto? Wow. Okay. Oh, good. She's here. Welcome. Doesn't it look so organized in here? Juliet just sorted all of my medical supplies in exchange for extra credit at school. I explained what each item was for, and she seemed genuinely interested. Maybe she'll take over for me one day. Oh, that would be nice. Give a kid a job and, you know, they'll be able to use their mind. I can't wait for summer. What are you going to do on your vacation? Nothing. It's going to be great. Uh, wow. Typical little kid. They can't wait for summer vacation, and yet all they do is sit on the butt. You and Lena were friends when you were younger, yes? Would you say you know her well? Not really. It was so long ago, and we were just kids then. Funny. My best friend Amy, I feel like if we could see each other again tomorrow, it would be just like old times again, but I guess I'll never really know. All right, Kai, can I go away, Damon? Damon, go on the other side of the bar. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm stoked for summer. When the winds blow offshore, you get the most perfect peeling waves. Hmm, okay, what you got? Ooh, apple? Uh, beer? No. Vodka? Ooh. No, let's try an apple martini. A cocktail made from vodka and apples. Okay. Then again, what's the vodka? Vodka is made in a distillery with potatoes. Ooh! So it's actually a vegetable. Okay. Drinking it replenishes some magic, but costs some energy. Can be sold to Damon and used in cocktail recipes. We'll go ahead and buy it. The beer can be made by fermenting hops in a fermentation barrel in your tool shed. Drinking it replenishes magic, but costs energy. That's okay. We'll buy each one. All right, so we talked to everybody over there. I think we're good. Then... My mom sometimes calls me by my sister's name. We don't look anything alike. They're twins. So, yeah, you do. Just... Oh, Sophia. If Giacomo was from Italy... What was he doing here 15 years ago? Oh, he was a friend of the dolls. Marcus met him on a trip to Italy. Funny, Giacomo never mentioned why Marcus was visiting, but I guess you don't need a reason to visit Italy. No, but that's one place I wish I could go. All right. I was thinking one day maybe... If I could only tilt the camera, um, building, like, all of the beach houses and whatever, um, maybe in Sims 3 or Sims 4, well, well, let's see, in Sims 4, I could do it in, um, Oh, shoot. The Beach Island Town World, whatever, I forget the name. Oh, 
Reverend Thomas, did you? Oh, shoot. Looks like Thomas is inside. Dang it. But then in The Sims 3, um, I don't remember if... Oh, okay. So blueberries still aren't ready yet. Um, I don't remember in my Sims 3, in my created world, if I have enough beach area to build houses. Ooh. See, that's where I'm going to have to, like, maybe try to sort of snap quick pictures and open up that game. Sna qu snap quick pictures here in this game and then open up my Sims game and find out. Oh, okay, wait a minute. We need to do this. Shoot, I don't want to collect them. Poo! But... We gotta do that. All right. Uh, oh, yes, I do have tulips. All right. All right. That is going to take a while to grow so that the bees will have, you know, stuff to do. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Perfect. We got all three. Cool. So we got that. Um, okay, I got that. We got this. We're still kind of sort of working on this. Um, we're waiting for the wheat. So I can do that. We've got the tulips for Parker. Ooh, good. My to-do list is getting small. Am I ready for bed? Yes. Oh. Hey, K-Bear! How's it going? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't see you sneak in. What's going on, girl? Someone's doing some pounding. Like, really? What the hey? Have you been keeping an eye on the time? It can get away from you if you're not careful. All right, got that. These are ready. Please tell me I've got enough wheat. Nope. Shoot. All right. How many days is that going to take? Eight days? Really? Dang it. Ooh, yes. We have four cauliflower. Hot dang. All right, um, okay, we just planted that. Plant some more green beans. Okay, got that. You know what, I might as well just collect these, plant some more. Okay, got that. And how is this doing? Two hours. Poop. Do I have any more soil? No. Of course not. Because everything needs soil. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Sunday morning, I don't think... Nope, he's closed. Unless I can find him around town, I won't be able to give Parker the flowers. Shoot. Oh well, we'll just have to head into town.
Okay, no one is sitting down there. Obviously, it's too early for the bar to be open. The bar. Ooh, pie's open. Oh, this is weird. I could have swore I got a new shipment of chocolate bars in. Oh. But the box is gone. What? Maybe it was one of the kids? I've heard they like to prank people. Nah, brah. Emmy always pays for her chocolate with her allowance. She takes pride in her junior budgeting skills. Maybe I'm just burned out from doing two-a-day sessions this past week. No, I have a feeling it was Finn. My mom sent me a new shirt, like, as an night of my birthday or anything. It's not exactly my style, but it's close. I never thought I would say this, but maybe she's finally beginning to see me for who I am. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? You're... So, have you planted any wheat? I've been scouring the internet for the best seitan cooking tips. Not yet. I'll tell you what I do. Clutch. Thanks, Tara. Actually, I did, but I had to plant some more. Do you need any help with farm errands? We're trying to save up for some new slingshots. Oh, little girl, I don't know about you. Juliet is a prodigy on that guitar, I swear. I, I know what you're thinking. Sophia, you're her mama. You have to say that. But Juliet really does have a gift. Oh, maybe someday she'll let someone other than me hear her play. Oh, everybody will. Give them time. <laughs> Thomas makes me laugh sometimes. I think the grouchy exterior just hides the teddy bear heart he's got. Okay, all right. Uh, Mira's closed. I don't see Parker down here. Shoot. I don't know where I'm going to run in. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, I see Parker. Oh, welcome. I'm glad you stopped in. Your choice to move here signals a longing for a fresh start, am I right? I guess. Our consciousness center is a great place to start your new journey. Listen, I can relate. I came here looking for a new beginning myself. Not to be rude, but I'm not really looking for guidance. I want to live life on my own terms. Living life on your own terms is exactly what we encourage here. I'm not saying you need guidance, but something did compel you to walk through these doors today. <sighs> I was living the Hollywood lifestyle, partying all night. One morning, I woke up on the sidewalk right in front of the League's founding chapter. I can't explain what made me go inside that morning, but I'm so glad I did. Sometimes the universe nudges us on the path that we're meant to go, and other times fate is more direct. After I learned more about the teachings of the League of the Conscious Mind, I knew my life would never be the same. I really hope to see you here again. Okay, fine. So now Tara and Cameron are new acquaintances. All right, fine, fine, fine. Yo, Mr. Doesn't Do Your Job, Mayor. You visited the local <clears throat> drinking establishment, I hear? You mean the bar? I care about supporting small businesses, but I was hoping this particular small business would close when Damon's parents went back to South Africa. It Rude. seems like he really loves the bar, though. Yes, he does. For some reason. You're rude. Wow. Any luck with the tulips? Yes, um, here they are. Thanks so much. I know it might seem old-fashioned, but I'm a fan of the surprise romantic gesture. I'm sure she'll love them, Parker. You think so? She's a hard nut to crack sometimes, but that's part of why I love her. Huh, <sighs> okay, only 80, but it's... All right, it's fine, it's money. Has Lena invited you to join her book club yet? They meet a couple of nights a week, but it's ladies only. Um... Yeah. 
Otto has tried bringing Bruno in for counseling, but I don't think his father is very receptive to our message. Maybe he will be, in time. Um, no. I get the sense that I'm not really Lena's favorite person. You're I am not. her kid's teacher, so I'm sure that's partly the reason. But has she ever said anything? <laughs> um, yeah. She said you are a... Bleep! No, I, I think she just keeps her circle small. That's fair. It's okay if I'm not everyone's cup of tea. How lucky you are to be one of the few she trusts. Well, if either of you ever need anything, do let me know. <laughs> not... <sighs> What's wrong, Angus? My older brother just sent an announcement. He and his wife are expecting again. In the fall. Congrats! Isn't that great news, Uncle Angus? No! That kid better keep baking till after our wedding. <sighs> Knowing my luck, he'll be born the day before, <laughs> and none of my family will come. Wow. But I know how that is. Hmm. Alrighty, so we got one down. Uh, we'll have to go into the forest later. Dang, the kids aren't out and about. Hmm, okay. Alright, how much energy? Okay, uh, flowers aren't there yet. I think this tree might be it. We have to eat or drink something. Yep, we just ran out of energy. Okay, what's going to give me... No, your magic. Ma magic, magic, magic. Croissant didn't do much, but, I mean, it gave us some of our energy back. Oh, Amira, hello. Gah, I feel terrible. I didn't want to turn down Kim's gift of fresh-caught lobster. I get the feeling they think I was upset, but I wasn't. In fact, I wouldn't mind getting a shellfish-free dinner with them sometime. Or with you, come to think of it. Oh, gosh, uh, I... <laughs> okay, that was like, um, uh, <laughs> yep. All right, uh, let's go. Little fish, come on, big fishy. Give me a big fishy. Big fishy. Oh, no, go away, little fish. Come on, big fishy. Oh, I got you. Gotcha. Okay, what do we got? A catfish. Okay, cool. Oops, sorry. Wrong button. Thomas's sister keeps setting him up on dates, but none of them seem to work out, which is disappointing. For him, I'm sure but also for me. I've told him a few times that our relationship ended in high school and there's not going to be a second act. I'm married. I'm just not sure how much he hears me on that. Ooh. So there's drama. Do you have any family nearby, Shelby? I have cousins. They came across the ocean with me when we were small. Rest of our family, well... They never made it out of Hungary. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Alrighty, do we have anything? Ooh, we got something here. Okay, let's go with Cricket this time. Big fish, big fish. I want big fish. No, go away, little fish. 
Go away. No. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, a brown trout. Okay. see kitty so we gotta go say hi to the kitty oh such a pretty girl uh, you know what um shoot Didn't you, Kitty? Okay, cool. Looks like these flowers are gonna bloom sometime soon. Cool. Probably in the next day or so. All right, so we will sit here and wait for everybody else so I can do the... Um, do this thingy. I have to show the, the potions to the acolyte. <sighs> I want to sit. Okay. There's that witch. That witch, that witch, that witch. And... Well, okay. The other witch is going to be a bit. Alrighty. Oh, great. <laughs> Let me have a whiff. Uh, yes, they all smell just right. Here, you keep them. They're super useful for someone running a farm. Brew more anytime you have the ingredients handy. Now go ahead. Let the high priestess know you've finished your potion training. Woo! I got a letter from an institute focused on herb lore. They want to recruit me. I love potions, but... I'm not sure if that's the right move for me. I can't believe magic schools are actually a thing. Girl, they've been around for ages. They're also crazy expensive, so it's like, probably not a real option. Oh, wow. Here comes the big witch. Well done, Initiate. You have mastered the art of herbology very quickly. The acolyte tells me she couldn't have done better herself. To recognize your skills and achievement, you may cast away your initiate designation. Yay! I really prefer to be called by my... You will be known as novice from this point on. Right. I see. Right! Rest now, and find ways to use your new craft. There'll be more work to do before long. Wow. Like... Can't I just be called by my first name? You know? Hmm. Who are you really? Persist in your studies with the coven and you will know one day. Ah, novice. It will soon be time for the turning of the seasons. Great. I love summer. Picnics, lemonade, going to the beach. But first, we must gather the ingredients for our ritual. I'm sorry, but doesn't the change from spring to summer just happen? You have much to learn. You'll find this island to be different in ways big and small. Gather the items and brew this potion. Then we can begin. <sighs> Wait a minute. Where did Grandma go? Grandma was just here. Dang it! I should have talked to Grandma before. Crap, crap, and crap. Light follows the darkness. Remember that. Does the newest member of the coven always have to gather supplies for turning the seasons? Usually, yeah. The newbie's kind of like the intern. Except you're getting us I am Newton instead of coffee. Much more exciting. Uh. As with all common knowledge, witchcraft mythology is sprinkled with half-truths and outright fabrications. 
okay and all this riddle talk and whatever is like yeah whatever but dang it I knew I should have you know ran to talk to grandma and then got mm, crap she had like other other knowledge tidbits to tell Tara shoot I know what's coming up. I am not going to spoil it for y'all. Mmm. Dang, dang, and dang. Oh, I see Finn. He's running home. Wow, a little late for you to be out, boy. All right, what's here that I can make money? Oh, but, ooh, yeah, okay. I'll accept that. New problem. Did I? Oops, yep, I already talked to Angus. Oh, there's Grandma. Good. Okay. Grandma, can't talk to you. Grandma, Grandma. Grandma. Okay, we got more soil coming. Grandma, I want to talk to you. Grandma, where are you going? <laughs> Grandma's running around in circles. Alrighty, well, I guess Grandma's just going to... Sit Is there. it time for bed? <sighs> All right, before we start the next day, uh, I'm going to take a quick break so I can close my curtains, blow out some candles. Ugh. And readjust my chair, because, yep, uh, the leg was starting to fall asleep on me. So, hang tight, you guys. I shall be back. Oh, give me about five minutes, and then we will continue on with the game.
you're basically 10 points. Sh yeah, you're gonna lose. Alrighty, we are back, but okay, up oh, there it is. Hello. All right, question is, can you all hear me? Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. Hello? Alright, there it is. Honeybee, I'm uh, going uh. to stay in bed today. I just don't have much energy. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, come in, Amira. What perfect timing. Sorry to come by so early. I, uh, heard you were feeling poorly, Hazel. How could you have heard that? Well, I try to make a house call at least once a month. I'm sorry I haven't been by more recently. Here's some medicine for Hazel. Thanks. It will make her more comfortable. There's not much more we can do, I'm afraid. What? You're just... giving up? <sighs> That's not fair. I've tried referring her to the best specialists and research trials, but she refused them all. Anyway, I need to get back to the clinic. Hazel, get some rest. I will. Don't worry. Tara's taking good care of me. Oh, don't be mad at Amira, honeybee. She's right. I decided to enjoy the time I had left, <laughs> rather than be strapped to a bed with tubes coming out of me. I'm grateful that I've had the strength to teach you what I can. I am not afraid of what comes next. And that's the premise to the spoiler that's coming. For those of you who may have played the game, you guys already know. I've already played it. So I know. But I'm still not going to say. Have you tried out the Boost Harvest Potion on some of your seeds yet? No. Not yet. Okay, we've got that going. Um, what else? Okay, I've got that for Violet. What else do we need? We need this. Uh, okay, we need the Spirit Flame, uh, Mortar and Pestle, and a Distillery. Alright, a Mortar and Pestle. Do, 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 do. I need two more Iron Ingot. Distillery. I need a Copper. Ugh. And we need money, so at least. Okay, the distillery needs 250. The desk needs 50, so I need 300. All right, we've got that. That'll leave me with 119. All right, so I, oops, shoot. So I guess, wait a minute, do I have, what's in my building materials? Um, I, dang it, keep hitting the wrong button. All right, we're going to have to go down in the mines. Okay, fill up this. Alright, 
Everything has been watered. We're waiting on this. This is going to take basically all day. Um... Okay, we got the key when I was playing offline. We got the key to go in here to the second level. Um, what do we got here? We need a key and whatever that is. Aw, <laughs> poop. I just heard the final score of the basketball game. Bucks lost game one. Dang it. All right. Hold on one sec, guys. Okay. Well, game two, I think, is on Wednesday. I don't know if it's home. If I'm sorry. If they're home here or if we travel down there by them shoot well they're gonna have to regroup and you know come back Okay, so we were finding iron. I don't think. Hey, this oh. looks like a key to the next level. Hell yeah, I got them both right away. Ooh, sweet. Okay, so, oh, wait, oh, shoot. I already walked in. All right, so it looks like. When there's only two little thingies on the sign, it's for the key and iron. Okay, so what level... Um... Okay, so what level? Oh, five? I gotta wait until I get to level five? Eh. Alright. Copper can only be found in the mines, obviously, and only floor or level five and above. Mine the big iron blocks to receive either iron or or copper. Oh, okay, excuse me. Um, okay, anywhere below level five will only yield iron ore so levels you you start start in the mines and go level one two three four and five and you get iron starting with level five and above then you start getting iron and copper okay um uh, let's see. It is most common ore. It is the most common ore on floor seven to nine, where the majority of rocks broken will yield copper. You can still get it on floor fourteen plus, but it's less common since there are more ores in pooled minerals. Alrighty. Um, silver. We're not quite 
there yet, but silver will start getting silver ore starting from level 10 or floor 10. <sighs> okay. All right. So we'll keep that one there. Okay. So that means I'm just going to have to take my time doing all of the, oops, sorry, doing all of these and making sure, making sure Tara's got enough snacks and whatever. <laughs> All right, that brings it up a bit. I guess I'll need some kind of digging tool. Yes, but we weren't trying to dig. We were trying to pick that up. Oh, dang it. I'm sorry. I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh oh. Okay. Um, shoot. All right. So we're only in. Uh, on level three or floor three. So it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to leave? Because you haven't quite done, blah, blah, blah. But I've got no energy because I've got nothing here. Ah, <sighs> crap. And we didn't use any magic, so yeah. So when we exit the mines... Because we have not found the key to the next level, you're kind of stuck with this question. Are you sure you want to exit the mines? The next time you visit this level, things may have shifted around and you'll have to start over hunting for the key. Well, yeah, but I got no energy. I've got no food, you know, so we have no choice. You have to say yes. You, you have to say let's go. So that also means um, I, what do I have? Um, okay. That also means I, you know, like can't try to chop down any trees or what have you because we have no more energy. Which I found to be rather, I don't know, let's, well, dumb you know, if you will. If you have no energy, she really wouldn't even be able to run. Technically. Oh, give me a break. Crap, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, Monday you're closed. You're open Tuesday through Saturday. So you're closed Sunday and Monday. Aw, oh, crap. Fine. I have mountains and mountains of paperwork to file before spring ends. But as mayor, it is my solemn duty to vanquish every last form for Fairhaven. Sure. Whatever you say. Ooh, baking something new, Angus? Yep, it's my little bro's favorite. I'm the middle child of three boys, so it was nonstop chaos growing up. <laughs> but I could always get Jamie to calm down if I gave him one of these. Uh, you don't have any siblings, do you? I must have been a bit lonely growing up, no? 
not when I was little, because I spent my summers here and grew close to my grandma and grandpa. Well, of course. Having a grandma like Hazel must have been so much fun. Francis and I are both the middle child of three child families. Maybe that's why we're perfect for each other. We're used to being the overlooked cheese in the sandwich. <laughs> uh, I hope Francis is able to find a place for himself here and that everyone sees just how special he truly is. Yay! Tara and Angus are now new acquaintances. All right. Hey, I heard Hazel's not feeling well. Tell her Francis and I are thinking of her, won't you? Of course. Thanks, Angus. Oh, wow. Everyone's closed. Dang. What the hey? Yeah, so if you're trying to impress a girl who sells flowers, don't give her flowers. I speak from experience here. Wow. Okay. Angus is always trying to warn me away from going fishing in that lake in the woods. But I like the woods. They're peaceful. Plus, sometimes I run into Amira. Wow. That sounded way less stalkerish in my head. Sometimes I feel like I can hear my dad singing. What does it sound like? I don't know. Like a lullaby, I guess. Oh, Parker said that you were the one who grew such gorgeous tulips. They look so good, I was sure he'd gotten them from Violet. Oh, well, thank you, but no, they were from me. Hey, where is he running off to? Little tubby boy. Have you visited the Consciousness Center yet? I just started to attend service on Sundays. I really find Cameron's message compelling. You can't just wait for fate to make things happen for you, right? Uh, sure. Well, consider coming by. Uh, no. Don't want to. Oh, hey, Tara. Hey, Francis. Do you have a cold? No, it's just my allergies kicking Dang it, up again. Everybody's watering Amira's around. giving me every antihistamine cocktail she can think of, but no dice. I guess I'm just allergic to, like, nature. Come back! I heard Hazel's been feeling worse. Are you doing okay? I... I think so. It's hard, honestly, because I'm the only one who lives with her. Like, what if she falls? Wow, that just popped out of me. I didn't even realize I was afraid of that. <laughs> Giacomo used to say I had that effect on people. They tell me all their worries. Well, I don't mind. Okay, so now I gotta try to run back, try to catch up with Kai. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Dude, come here. Amira's been on me about my surfer's ear, but as long as I got one still doing the job, I'm all good, brah. Okay, um, Cameron, can I talk? Ah, uh, dude, Cameron, Cameron. Dude, oh, there you are. Oh, Jesus, really? Dude, stand still. My grandmother was a lot like Hazel. She was my biggest champion. When my show got canceled by the network, she said, don't worry, Cammy, something better will come along. And she was right. I just wish she could have seen how far I've come. Okay, so now, can we go over to the beach, see if there's anything there I can pick up, Try to find, yeah, try to find Thomas. 
Who? Yes. Shell. Shell. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right. We're going to have to run up, see if Thomas is available. Run back down the other side of the beach. Oh, Thomas. Crapola. Ugh. No. Uh, yeah, I can't even go fishing because I have, like, no energy. What a drag. Thomas! Ah, uh, poop. Really? Fine. Okay, mushroom, mushroom, ooh, eh, mushroom, weed, 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 ooh, yay, weed, 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 No, we are not trying to... Ooh, yes. Weed. We're not trying to bust up anything because we don't have the energy. Everything's been watered. We're waiting on soil. Grandma's in bed. So tired. Yeah, I know. I want to build Grandma's little farmhouse in The Sims. See if I can kind of decorate it the same way. Honeybee, can we chat for a moment before you go out for the day? Sure, Grandma. I want you to know I've left you the farm in my will. I uh -uh. already spoke to Arthur about it, and he understands farm life was never for him. I don't want you to feel obliged if you'd rather return to your old life in the city, but... Tell me, do you want to stay on after I'm gone? Grandma, you're not giving me the farm. You're going to get better. Oh, honeybee. That's just not the case, I'm afraid. It's better to be prepared. I'm glad that's settled then. I'll have Otto finish the paperwork. Morning! Brought you some groceries. Oh, let me get you some money. Oh, don't you dare. It's the least Parker and I could do. <laughs> Thank you, Lena, dear. You will look after Tara for me, won't you? I've done what I can to get her ready to take my place here, but she'll need a guiding hand. I will. Well, I better let you rest. Give my love to Marcus when you see him. Ah. Uh, okay. That's premise number 2. Another indication of what's to come. To everything there is a season. But even that can be negotiated sometimes. Um, grandma, you're not dying. Sorry. No way. Okay, oops, sorry. I want what is in here. So I need, yeah, I need that and that and that. And I don't have crap. Oops, no, not the desk. Okay, so I still can't do anything until I get the copper. Shoot. 
uh, Tuesday. Um, okay, Natalia. Ooh, she's open. Okay. Oh, damn it, but that's gonna take some money. <laughs> All right, whatever. Okay, Tuesday I said it was. Okay, Violet's open. I'll give her that. Maybe I can get some money out of this. Okay, fine. Uh, shoot, let's just water everything before we go. flowers. Alright. So we have a full can. Oh, I also restarted. Um, I had a greenhouse and everything in my other save. And somehow, I don't know how, somehow I oopsed watering some flowers and they all dried up and it's like crap. This is solid. Thanks. Hey, I heard you help Parker with his tulips. I would try to keep them in stock, but he's the only one who buys them. I have to admit, it's pretty romantic. Sometimes I think Parker is the one who should run a florist. Okay, got that money, it wasn't much. Mayor doesn't do anything, you know, yeah. My wife, Vanessa, is an uh -uh. amazing teacher and uh -uh. first lady of Fairhaven. She's too good for me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Why, have you heard anyone say that? Yeah, we all would, cause you're a joke. Pounding dough is great stress relief. Whenever Francis and I get in a fight, I sell a lot of loaves the next day. Wow. Okay. Um, oh shoot. I don't. Oh, wait a minute. 457, that would be 300, did I say? That would leave me 157. Um, oh, God, you gotta be kidding me, really? And I can't even do that. Oh, shoot. Well, that's one cupcake. Dang it. All right, we're gonna have to go fishing. Crap, crap, and crap. Poor Otto got so seasick when he was a kid. One time we got stuck in a side seat coming back to port and... Oh, the stern was a mess, I'll tell you that. He refused to go out on the water from then on. Squid I need. Um, yeah, all right, that'll have to do. Dang it. Natalia gives me mad weird looks whenever we pass each other. Like, is she going to eat me or is she scared of me? I asked Amira to run some tests to see why I'm so tired all the time, but she didn't find anything. I always tell myself, 
Just one more episode. <laughs> and before I know it, it's 2 a.m. Just a few more hours. Just let me play for a few more hours and then it's the next day. Yep, I know how that is. Oh, dang it. No, I didn't want so Your mom still lives outside the city, right? Do you ever go visit her? Oh, yes. On all the high holidays, Juliet and I go stay with my mama and visit the synagogue I went to as a kid. <sighs> Juliet does not care for the synagogue, but she doesn't mind the food. Mama is an even better cook than me. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. I want... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on. I want Damon. Ah, there we go. Finally. Does the bar have a name? Sure does. The bar. That isn't a name. Well, it's what everyone calls it, so it seems like a name to me. All right. Amira... Allergy season makes me wish Damon's mother was still here. Having a pharmacist handle everyone's medication took so much off my plate. But Kaya got the chance to work at an amazing clinic in South Africa, so I can hardly blame her for leaving. Oh, I need more side jobs. I need money. Are your parents members of the League too, Cameron? My mom's interested in some of the ideas. She's really open to it, but my dad, well, he has some bitterness over how some League members treated him back in his acting days. I wish he could let it go. Oh, wait, let's just come up this way. Tuesday, Tuesday, oh. Okay, I see Parker is open, and I see Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Kitty, come here. I tried to get Lena to bring a bouquet of flowers over for Hazel, but she said hey. Hazel thinks get well flowers are stupid. <laughs> I mean, that does sound like something Hazel would say. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm here but lurking because I don't want to spoil the game for myself. Oh! Oh, that's... Wait. I thought you started playing this. Because I restarted. Uh, I, I mean, I restarted a little bit ago. Not today. But I thought you started playing this. Girl! <laughs> I'm like on my third go around, you know. Uh so sorry, I don't have any sound right now, so I can't hear you. I'm just lurking. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
crappy. What? That's it? I don't have it. Oh, damn. Damn. All right, fine. Are there any? Ooh, okay. I see fish. Oh, dang it. All right, we're going to have to wait for that bottle and then fish. Come on. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, what do we got? Is it? Yeah, it is. It's a recipe. Oh, a recipe. nachos, really? Fine. Can I get back? Yes. All right, big fish, big fish. No, go away. Go away. Come on, big fish. Thank you. Okay, that works. Ooh. Big fish. Big fish. No, go away. Yes. Ooh, nice. All right, if I, ooh, wait. Almost summer, ah. Oh. The time of year you used to visit Fairhaven. Would little Tara have ever imagined adult Tara's life here? Nope. Not even in little Tara's wildest dreams. Finn! No, wait, 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 wait! No, dude, come back here. Mom said we should help you now that your grandma is really sick. So, here. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Finn. But I don't want to take your chocolate. No, it's okay. I can swipe more from Kai later. Oh! What did you say? Buy. I, I, I can buy more from Kai later. Oh! Dude! I want to start a skateboard streaming channel one of these days, but I've been crazy busy lately. Sebastian doesn't really hang around the school much. It's weird being the last big kid. No, 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 come. No. Thank you. We're gonna have to make some tea. Or, oops. Yeah, I can run. Oh, shoot. How about if I go inside and make the tea? Oh, shoot. oh yes. Yes. And yes. Okay. All right. Eight o'clock. Um, crap. Yeah, whatever. We'll have to go to bed. Is it time for bed? Yeah. <sighs> oh, rough. <sighs> Morning. Brought you some firewood, Hazel. How kind of you, Thomas. I'll just, um, go somewhere else. Lena told me you've been a bit under the weather. Hmm. I have. But Tara's been doing a pretty good job taking care of the farm, wouldn't you say? I suppose. Hazel, 
I just wanted to say thank you. After my dad passed, you and Robert were there for us. I have never forgotten it. Oh, it was the least we could do. Most things I picked up watching your dad in his garden. <laughs> he was right about most things when it came to farming. Hard as it was for me to admit, he was just so stern and impossible to please. Well, I'll be on my way. Ugh, damn it. No, 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 no. Damn it. Not what I... Come back here. Thomas, where are you? Good thing you learned how to fish from Bruno. When I was a kid, the fisheries were focused on getting bigger and bigger. When they got too big, they went out of business. Bruno never did that. He fished as much as he needed. No more. Okay. Thank you, Thomas. Okay. Weed, rock. Weed. Oh, crap. I want to upgrade my tools, but I need money. Okay, so I've got 377, but I still need stuff that I don't have. Shoot. That got that. Weed. Oop. Hold on. I see weed. Weed. Come back around. Weed. <laughs> okay, got that. Shoot, I still need crap, crap, and crap. What is today, Wednesday? Oh, good, you're there. Ooh, hey, hey, Angus, hold on. Emmy asked me if I wanted to partner with her and Finn on a pastries and warm beverages collaboration. She's one industrious kiddo. Sure is. A little too keen on pranking me when my guard's down, but I always respect a whisk taker. Angus. Jokes aside, I'm considering taking her up on it. Maybe it's the weather, but doesn't a hot chocolate or apple cider paired with some warm muffins sound delicious right about now? Ooh, yes. Heard Messenger Cameron say he's having a hard time keeping up his stock of pamphlets. That must mean that his message is really getting popular in town. I don't think so. Um, shoot. Okay. Three. How many do I have? Wait, how many do I have? Come back here. Um, I got one. Okay, so I just need two. Okay, um, I can't do anything with the copper because I'm not that far in the mines. Crapola. Owie, owie. Mm. Alright, one. Two. Oops. Nope. I, I want this. Three. Please say yes. Four. And, uh, crap. Nope. Okay. So we are not going to... My watering can is already full. Yep, I already know that. Sorry. Uh, we're not going to grab the tulips because I want them to remain. Nope, not that. I want 
this. Okay, that's all. Really? Man. <sighs> Crap. Okay. We need to go here. <laughs> All right. Remember, we are starting more or less from the beginning because we left the mine because, you know, we had no energy. Oh, yeah, we might as well eat it. Oh, sweet. Oh, pretty much. Okay, cool. Um, we left the mine because we had no more energy and it was getting late. So we had to start basically back from the beginning to try to find the key. Remember, we're not going to find copper until we get to level five. Come on. Oh, crap. One, two, and three. All right. Eat the croissant. It's not going to give us much energy. All right. That brought our energy back up a bit, but remember, we're still looking for the key. So this is what takes us so long, well, that and finding other items that we need. So we cannot turn the season until we find everything. Come on, give me the key. Hey, Ooh, this will yes. be the key to the next level. Yes. All right. Okay, so again, we have the key and iron. That's all that we got on this level. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Ugh. All right. Can we find any loose stone? Right now I'm not seeing any, but yeah. See, this is where we go through a whole lot. Oh, crap. We got one more T. Uh, shoot. Oh, I cannot wait until I have enough money to upgrade the tool. Well, money and resources. Oh, yes! Sorry. I hit the button so fast that, you know, we kind of like went, you know, right over the uh, message. 
what it was was basically we found the key to the next level, yada yada. All right, now we are on level five. We should be able to start finding copper. Yes, we have three now. Hi, right, we have no more restorative tea, so we, you know, if we find copper, yes. Come on. Iron. All right, where am I going to? Oh, wait a minute. I think, yes. Nope. Okay, then it's got to be this kind. Come on. Dang it! Shoot. We are all out of energy. So, <laughs> crap. Alright, but at least we are at level 5. So now when I come back to the mines, I can just come straight to this level. And we can start looking for copper and the key and all that. Alright. And it's 810. Well, going on 830 anyway. Huh? Alright, everything looks good here. You know, I'm debating. I am all out of strength. I couldn't wow. make her buy some She can't food even pick flowers. Tomorrow. She can't even pick flowers because she's out of strength. Really? Wow. Should I go to bed? Hmm. Yes, just go to bed. Grandma, can I have some money, please? Who is that outside, dear? It's... Vanessa? <laughs> I don't have the energy for her. Tell her I'm asleep. Good morning, Tara. I just wanted to bring some cupcakes for your grandmother. <sighs> She's asleep, but I'll take them. Wonderful. I made them myself. I'm not the best baker, but I tried. Uh, I should be mean and say they're very dark, you know? Yeah. Oh, I love a good, uh, dark cupcake. Mm hmm I set a timer, I promise. But then I got distracted. At least they're not raw. By the way, I'm not just here because I'm the mayor's wife. When I was in high school, my best friend got sick. Also cancer. I supported her as much as I could. But it wears on you, being a caretaker. Did your friend recover? Her name was Amy. And she didn't, no. I am so sorry. It's all right. It was a long time ago. In any case, I'm here if you want to talk. And now I'll be going. I don't want to wear out my welcome. Huh. Grandma, did you hear that? Mm, what? Uh, I was just resting my eyes. <sighs> And you said it was only pretend. I'll leave you be. There used to be a very successful ranch in town, but it's become a rundown wreck now. Ah, oh, would be wonderful to see it up and running again. Okay, well, we've got. Oops, wrong way. We've got food. Not what I wanted, but, you know. It's something. Okay, so back over here. How many more do I have? Ooh, I still have enough. We're gonna have to use up all the thistle. Ah, <sighs> crap, 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 crap. But that gives us tea while we work in the mines for a bit.
All right, we're going to plant one more thingy of tulips. Our green beans came in. Okay. Um. Eh, shoot. Cauliflower will do that. Remember, we're still waiting on the wheat. Um. Plant some more potatoes. Alrighty, that takes care of everything. How long in the soil? Two hours? Alright, we're good. Um, okay, gotta go back down into mines. Now remember, we can go straight to level five. Hi, Tara. I hope you don't mind me hanging around here. Not at all. Hey, where'd you get that hammer? Oh, it was my great-grandfather's, but it was kept for many years by... I guess we'll call her a friend of the family. Wish I had it when I was younger to fend off bad dates. I have a feeling if I posted a pic of myself with my trowel, I wouldn't get too many dates. Hey, you never know what folks might be into. <laughs> I'll admit, I gave up on finding love long ago due to my poor luck. But ever since I came here, my luck's been looking up in other ways. Maybe it's foolish, but I'm feeling hopeful. Yay! Natalia and Tara are casual friends now. All right. All right, two, three, four, and five. Poof. Okay, we'll try this one. Nope, you are iron. Oh, crap, it's like pick and choose which ones. Okay, hey, we'll try you. Shoot! Iron! Dang it! I see a stone. Ooh, I need the stone. Dang it! Where in the heck is the copper? Oh, crap. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Oh, yes. Woohoo! Yes, we got copper. We got iron. Although I still need a little bit more copper so I can make that um ingot. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on, come on. I need copper, 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 copper. Ooh, I think this one. Come on. No! I, I said this one. Oh, uh, shoot. Get off the dang stone. No, get off the dang stone. Thank you. Okay, we the found the key level. to the next level, but I still need some more copper. 
So again, we've got three that we need to find, the key, copper, and iron. All right, no, 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 oh, the light gray. No, 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 get off the stone. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, can we can we find at least two more? Yeah, shoot. Iron. Damn it. Where in the hell is the copper? Okay. Got that. Come on. Please be a copper. No. Damn it. I don't need iron. I need copper. Ah, uh, frig! Alright. So then I guess we're just going to have to look for a tall... ...ish. Okay, you look small, small, small. Alright, we'll try this one. <laughs> Nope. Iron. Frig! Oh, yes! All right. So we found that. We're going to restart the next day so we can find the key. But we, we got our copper. We got our iron. Melt those down into ingots and, you know, build what we need to build to make or brew whatever what we need to brew. Okay. We are all out of energy. I don't even think maybe, maybe. Weed. Can I... Am I able to get the weed? Yes. Okay. I'm able to get the weeds. And the mushrooms. Yes. Good thing we did all the watering. Because, yeah, we can't do any of that. All right, come on, come on, come on. Can't chop down the tree, although I would like to. All right, weed. Can't do that, can't do that. Nothing else available. I still say it's really weird that because they have no energy, they can still run around like crazy. But you can't do anything. Makes no sense. Uh, can't do that until I Should have Should I ingots. go to bed? Yep, go to bed. Mm. Go to bed. Ow. Okay, we have energy. Let's go talk to Grandma. There used to be a very successful ranch in town, but it's become a rundown wreck now. Oh, 
Would be wonderful to see it up and running again. Well, I can't say anything. Oh, it's raining. I don't have to water anything. Hot damn. All right, that's good. Just like Stardew, rain is your best friend. Wow, no we oh okay, I see a mushroom but no weeds. Wow. And you would think all the running around that, you know, you have to do that your energy would, you know, start to deplete. Nope. It's when you have to do physical labor and all that, that it depletes. Okay, so we are on... Six. <laughs> All right, what I'm doing is, oh. Wow, I ran past and, and didn't, didn't grab it. Oops. <sighs> Iron crap. Okay. Um, where are you? You're not going to do nothing. You're not going to do, do, do. No, let's try you anyway. I mean, the more that I can find, the uh, more. Oh, crap. Um. The more resources, like extra, I'll have. Crap, your iron. Ah. Uh. Oh, it really is hard to find everything. I could... Oh, crap and a half. <laughs> oh, dang it. Come on. It's like, I don't want to use up all my tea. Yes. Okay. Iron. I mean, copper. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on, come on. Hey, oh, this okay, like well, the I found the key level. to the next level. But I got iron. Alright, so let me just do this last one. Hopefully it'll be copper. Nope. Iron. Alrighty. Well, we found the key, so now we can leave safely. Yay. Uh, Friday. Natalia should be open. Oop, wait a minute. Nope, hang on. Uh, no, not that, you dummy. Okay, so I need one copper bar. I've got the wood. Ooh, okay, I got this. Um, ah, crap. Mm -hmm. 
right. I'm actually using the mouse when I, you know, kind of like screw up and I forget to like turn it and put it where I want it. I can use my mouse and come into the game and do what I need to do. Alrighty, so that's placed. Nope, mouse, go away. Okay. Um, alrighty. So now let's run down by Natalia. Oops, come on. There we go. Jump the fence. Oh, Parker's always thinking up romantic things to do for Lena. Oh, I hope I find a thoughtful partner like that someday. Want some flowers, Natalia? I, I might have extra. Oh, you're sweet. But uh, flowers make me sneeze. Ew, wow. Okay. Okay, um, I would just need one. Okay, two will give me, let's see, 20. No. Yes. Yeah, I'll have enough. Okay. All right. Now we can go down here, uh, build this. Oh, Two fifty. You know, I mean, I really want the money, but yeah. No, damn it. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. All right. Now, in here, we need to make essence, and I need more copper. Son of a crap. Shoot. Don't have that. Okay, uh, powder calcium. I think I can do a few. So, oh, let's see. That'll be four. I have six. We'll craft three. Thank you. All right, so what is it that I need? Nope, not that. Okay, so we need the essence of copper. I've got the powder calcium. I have toadstool. So, yeah, we just need to go back into mine and get some more copper. Eh, I don't. <laughs> Crap. Oh, okay, great. I have one thistle. Wow. One little restorative tea. Okay. Fine. As long as it's raining, we don't have to water anything. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Wait a minute. You know what? No. Do I need this for anything? Shoot, you know what? Yeah. We're just going to have to do it. All right, so where are we? We are now down to... Oh, dang it. Go back. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> All righty. Um... Dang, copper, come on. I want, uh, I mean, iron. I need, to... no, get away from the stone. Oops. Ooh, we found a mushroom. Okay, and we got the iron. No, get away from the frigging stone. Uh, 
Oh my god, stupid iron. Oh my god, where in the hell uh, is the copper? By the time you find anything, it's like, shoot. Oh, wait a minute. Did I see another mushroom? No, but I saw a stone. Oh, another stone. Now, of course, my good buddy, you know, more or less didn't want to have spoilers or anything. She thought Stardew was a grind, especially like on the Switch and whatnot. Shoot. Dinkum is a grind. Um... I think she found out in Dis in in Disney's Dreamlight Valley that's a grind, you know. This is a grind. Cause it's like holy crap. Alright. Craft. Yay. Okay, so we got that the um the blah whatever. Uh crap. What? The uh, powdered calcium. We got that made. We've got the essence of copper being made. When the essence of copper is done, then I can brew the spirit flame. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know. <laughs> there is so much to do just to do this right here. I was working on this, you know, so that we could build the ranch and whatever. That that ain't gonna happen. Um, we're waiting on the the wheat to give to Kim. So really, uh, by the time I get the wheat, we give that to Kim, and we do this. We still have to work on this. It's a lot. It's a lot. But we're going to have to fish up a storm. And I can't do anything because I have no energy. You know. Well, I mean, I... I've got the rest of the tea to give me some energy. Not a whole lot. But... Uh, yeah. But this is what I say. You know, when when your character, Tara, she's got no energy, how can she run? Literally. Hey, Tara. You know, when my abuela took ill, we sat around her bed and just told her stories about her life sang her favorite songs. It was a sad time. But I treasure those memories. All right, and if y'all were just watching, listening, whatever, and that right there is a clue. Um. Sure, we'll get that. Um, what Francis said is a clue. So you used to live in a really cool city and chose to move here? Like, on purpose? Okay. Yeah, she did. Oop, 
peanut. Yes. So oh, whatever that was, mandrake. Peanut. Ooh, flowers. Kitty. ahead up there. I don't see anything. Mushroom. Ooh, mushroom, mushroom. Yes. Ooh. Crap. Midnight. I want... Uh, come on! I want to... Let me get the peanut. Alright. Peanut. Now we will hurry up and race home. I mean, it's so weird, you know, she has, well, what energy she's got because she drank the tea, but, you know, it's like when you get rid of the energy, you shouldn't have energy to run. So, I don't know, I just think it's weird, you know. You get rid of the energy by, you know, doing everything around the farm and, you know, plucking this, doing that, you know, going into mines and whatnot, but then you shouldn't be able to have energy to run. It is so weird. Oh, damn. I didn't go to bed, so I'm exhausted. What the hell? I was standing right there. <laughs> Oof. I should get myself to bed earlier today. Yeah, whatever. I don't think so. <laughs> Have you visited Lena at the general store in town? She'll buy our produce and sell you some seeds. Yes, I've been by her place. She's fixed it up a lot since she took it over from her dad. Marcus was a great man, but not the most detail-oriented. Oh, has he passed away? No. <laughs> No, he's over in a special home in Milkwater, across the way from the ferry. His memory is not what it once was. I'm sorry to hear that. Alrighty. And woohoo! He's done. So now. <laughs> All right, the spirit flame is now being brewed. <sighs> Ooh, two days on the wheat. We don't have to water anything because it rained. Potato has three days. Cauliflower, four. We're good here, but I don't want to take it. Tulip is two days. Nope, go away. I want this. Soil has seven hours. Just, just a little over seven hours. All right. Really, there's not much except for fishing, which will expel some energy. There's not a whole lot to do. Uh, we are going to run around. We're going to talk, well, with just about everybody we can. Come on. I don't see anything. Really? Oh, thistle. Okay. We got some more of the moonflowers, so we might be able to make maybe one or two teas. Ooh, Thomas! Thomas! Come back here. Come back here! 
Hazel's a good cook, but if you want a meal so big you'll hardly be able to walk afterwards, go to Sophia's. And at the end of a day planting seeds, you'll want that kind of meal, trust me. If you got the kind of money she's asking for. Cause I've seen that. Nah. Oh. Hazel told me that before I moved here, there was nowhere to get a cappuccino on the entire island. Can you imagine that? Um, sure. I, I have no idea what this, you know, building could be. So this is something like way down the road, uh, I guess we'll be able to fix up. And I'll put a question mark on that because I don't know. Ooh, look at that. Yes. Ooh, look at this. Heck yeah. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I was just going to say fishies. Hello. All right, I want a big fish. Give me a big fish. Give me a big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Oh, quick. Oh, yeah. A flounder. Wow, looks funny. Okay. Okay, can we go back? Can we go back? Can we go back? Yes? No? Maybe? Nope, guess not. Ooh, I see two big fish over here. Give me the big fish. Give me the big fish. Big fish. Big fish. No, go away. I don't want you. You're small. Go away. Yeah. Okay. A large ocean fish with dazzling blue and gold scales. Cool. Alrighty. Um, yeah, why not? We'll continue fishing here. Alright, we use a worm. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Go away. You're little. Go away. I want the big one. Ooh, sea bass. All right. I'll take that. And uh, y'all look tiny. Nope, I don't want you. Uh, kind of, sort of. Okay, let's use a cricket. Oh, quick. nope. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Come on. Crabby looking one. <gasps> nope, go away. Or not, not crabby, lobster one. A clam? Really? Man. Ooh, yay, yay. Yay. Found three. Ooh. All right. Come on. Let's try another cricket. I want the lobster looking fish. I want the lobster looking fish. Go away. Yes. What do we get? Another clam? Really? Ooh, bananas. Yeah, yes. Ooh. Okay. Um. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Come on, big fish. No, go away, little fish. I want the big one. Big one. Yes. Oh, Kim is heading home. All right, cut a flounder. Kim, 
No, 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 no. Kim, 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 Kim. No, no, no. Crap. Oh, yes. I don't know what to think about Cameron. There's something about his talk about malcontents that sets me on edge. Oh? Angus really seems to like go into the consciousness center, though. He's always inviting me to come. So, have you planted any wheat? I've been scouring the internet for the best seitan cooking tips. Not yet. I'll tell you when I do. Clutch. Thanks, Tara. Actually, I have. I'm just waiting for the next batch to finish and ripen and nope and do all that. All right, 9.40. Uh, I think I'm just going to send Tara back home. And we've got just a little bit of energy left, which is fine. We're waiting on the spirit flame anyway. And of course, we're waiting on all of these to get done. Ooh, soil is ready. Excellent. Okay, cauliflower, that'll take four days. Potatoes, three. Wheat, two. Oops. Wheat, two. Yeah. So we've got a few more days Should to I just go to bed? run around and try to get everything done. And then I think we'll head back back into the, the woods and help the other witches turn the season. <gasps> it's ready. Oh my god. Okay, we can bring it to the high priestess, but we're not ready to do anything because we're still waiting on crops. Oh, and it's raining again? Oh, hell yeah, I don't gotta do anything. Cool. Ooh, and it's Sunday morning, which means quite a few businesses are not gonna be open. Ah! Poo! All right. I see a mushroom. Yes. I don't see any... Okay, I see a thistle. I don't see any weeds. Poo. <laughs> Alright, how... Oh, dang. I could make or buy some food really? or try again tomorrow. No, we're not trying to cut the rock. I could. Shut make... up, shut up, shut up. There. Okay, so I got about two more teas left, but I'm really just looking for small trees and weed. Oh, yeah, got that. Oh, I cannot wait to upgrade. Can we? Oh, yeah, we should be able to. Oh, no, crap. Oh, um, Oof. doofus. I think that rock is tougher than my pickaxe. I might need an upgrade. No kidding, but that's not what I wanted. Alrighty. Um, 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 um. Okay, 
I think I got everything that was available. All right. So once again, we are just still waiting on crops to hurry up and get done. Th Thomas, it's raining. Why would you be watering? In a good mood today, Thomas? I am. I am. Just got back from milk water. We were all celebrating the new year. Oh, happy new year. I might have overdone it, though. Ate so much herring, you could probably roll me back to the farm. Wow. <laughs> Ate so much herring. Dang. Okay. Ooh. Itch. All right. Little crab, did you... Oh, wow. Seaweed, that's all. That's all you brought me, little crab? Dang. Bruno! Watch out for Sophia. She'll try to match you up with someone in town. Heck, after Helena passed, she wanted to set me up with Hazel. Uh, no disrespect to you, Graham. But diving back into those waters... <laughs> Elena was the one and only love of my life, and always will be. Oh, sentimental. All right, I'm not seeing anything here. Although, you know, because I just ran into Bruno, I can't sell him what fish I caught, because he ain't at his shop. Angus was being all snarky about Vanessa's baking skills after he saw her taking cupcakes to your place. But she's doing her best. I'm sure most first ladies don't care as much about their citizens as she does. Um, sure. Okay, whatever you say. Uh, let's see. Let's go with cricket. I see two big fish. I want big... Oh, man, then I get a bottle? Frig! Oh, quick! No, go away, little fish. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, oh dang it. All right, fine. The bottle's going to go away now. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, and, and, and see, now it's replaced with little fish. I don't want little fish. I wanted that bottle. Crap. Okay, worms, give me one of the two big fishies. Come on, big fish. Oh, yeah. Yes, big fish. Ooh, mackerel. Hell yeah. Come on, I want to go back to fishing over there. Nope, okay. Can I go back over here? Nope. Wow. Alrighty, I can't do any fishing along there. Nope, okay. Can I fish around here? Ooh, ooh, heck yeah. Oops. Yeah, let me go up the ramp, dummy. Ooh. Come on, big fish. Big fish. Come on. Oh, well, yeah. all right, I'll take you. Ooh, I got a squid. Fine, but I want to fish some more. Ooh, yes, maybe. Oh, wait, no, no. Nope, it was a little fish. I don't want a little fish. No, damn it. It bums me out that there's no one else my age on the island. Like, I don't fit in with the kids, but the adults treat me like one of them. 
Oh, poor Sebastian. Parker tried to pull me into a conversation about cherry blossom trees the other day. Like, yeah, I'm half Japanese and all, but no, I don't know the difference between Prunus, Kanzan, and Ichio. Parker really does love flowers, though. It's, it's kind of sweet. Cute. Okay, I just seen Cameron, so we have to race to try to get him. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, wait. The League does offer pre-bereavement oh. counseling, if it would help. Or you're also welcome to just come use the meeting room as a space to sit in quiet whenever you want. Thank you, Cameron. Of course. Okay, that's another clue. Uh, where are you going, little missy? Come back here. Come back here. Juliet says the rain inspires her to write music sometimes. It inspires me to jump in puddles. Uh, wow. All right, so I suppose we'll go to the woods tonight. Have you seen that old silver willow tree in the woods? I yep. would really love a sample of the wood, but I know better than to take a saw to it. Every now and then I pass by hoping I'll get lucky and it will drop a branch. Um, you have to have the right gene in order for it to drop a branch. If you know what I mean. All right, we're gonna head in, but I want to, okay. We got that, we got that. Is there anything else? Ooh. You know what, I'm gonna take my chance. Big fish, I see a big fish and then we'll head in. No, 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 no. Come on, no. No, big fish. No, go away. Go away, you're little. I want the bag. Oh, yes. On. Ooh, catfish. Okay. Alrighty, 8.30. We have to hurry up and run in. Um, Let the high priestess know we... You know, we're, we're brewing the spirit flame. It won't be ready yet, but we're also not ready to turn the season anyway. I brought the spirit flame potion. Well done. Be aware that the crops that thrive in spring will wilt under the summer sun. It's best you finish any tasks that still need to be done. Now, are you ready to say goodbye to spring? Yes, but no. No, I have a few things to do before we change the season. Very well. Come speak to me when you are ready. Okay. Ooh, these are gonna bloom again real soon. Woohoo! Anyone heading into the mine? Someone threw out his back. Surf casting. <laughs> and I need clay for a poultice. So, in order for me to get clay, I need a shovel. Alright, Amira needs clay. Sophia needs clay. But I don't... 
have a shovel. Oh, come back here. But Tara, I thought I saw Vanessa go by on her way to your house with a tray. Oh, yes, she paid Grandma a visit. Oh, thought so. Here. Angus, you don't have to do that. Oh, yes, I do. Even the sick have standards. Vanessa doesn't believe in putting butter in her baked goods. I think that says it all. Um, even though I ate them, you know, they were like, <coughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we got more cupcakes. We got more food. Yes. Oh, wait. Okay. What are we looking at? One more day. Two more days. Three more days. Dang it, we're really not going to be able to change the season or anything for a while. Crap! One more day on the tulip. These are ready, but I don't want to do anything. Uh, bees are kind of working, but they're not, so I don't really want to do anything. Crap, crap, and crap. Yeah, we's done here, so... All right. Should I go to bed? Yes, go to bed. <sighs> oh, that reminds me. I need to snap a picture of Grandma's kitchen and the house and whatnot. So, let's see. Let me just grab a picture with Tara right there. Okay, you'll hear the click. I'm pressing F12 on my uh, keyboard so I can snap a picture. Um, let's see. So that is that kind. Oh, I'm not getting. <sighs> I wish we could put the walls up, you know, so we could see how everything looks. Wallpaper wise and you know things like that. Oh wait a minute, where am I going? I need to speak to grandma. Speak to people around town and get to know their problems. Sometimes there's things you can do to help. Sometimes there's things they can do to help you. Okay, thank you, Grandma. Oh yes! Wait! Hot dang, we can give this to Kim. All right, one day should be two days here. Yes, you're ready. Oh, no, dang it. Go away. I don't want that. Um, That's ready, that's ready. Okay, so what did I say? Two days, so in about two days, um, this will be ready and then I'll grab the flowers. Awesome. Soil will be ready in 14 hours. So basically, kind of, sort of a day. You know. All right, that'll be good. Yes. Ooh, excuse me. All right, I'm not seeing any weeds. What the? Oh, okay, fine, I get a mushroom. But I get no weeds? There are no weeds? No. Nah. Oh, all right, another mushroom. Thank you. Monday, Monday, Monday. Is she open? Um. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Let me go see Useless Mayor. Saw Vanessa on her way to your farm with a plate of cupcakes. She 
She really is such a thoughtful first lady to take that kind of time. And she works with the twins every day. The League of the Conscious Mind doesn't have saints, but if we did, she would certainly qualify. <laughs> um, sure, whatever you say. Okay, um, let's see. I got 44. All right, let me sell that. I'm not going to sell any of the stones just yet until I go see the useless mayor, and then I'll sell the rest. That'll give me some money. You'd think working with teeny tiny jewels would translate to Francis having some precision in the kitchen, but it doesn't. Don't get me wrong, my boo can cook, but there's a 50-50 chance of him getting injured. Signature dishes or might need stitches. There's no in between. Wow, Angus. Way to just, you know, like crush on your boo. You know what they say, it takes a village to be a village. Do they say that? Yeah, no, they don't. My wife, Vanessa, is an amazing <gasps> teacher and first lady of Fairhaven. She's too good for me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Why, have you heard anyone say that? Okay, so I have... 21? Yeah, that's good enough. Ooh, I've got some iron. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can sell these too. Because I really need the money. Oh, Natalia! Okay. Wow, I can't sell the ore? Really? Oh, man. Okay, well, that just gets rid of all that. Fine. Boo. Ah, oh, kitty! 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 Hi, kitty. There's a stray cat that lives around here. He looks like he might be a good mouser. Not that my bar has mice. Nope, not a problem. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's a shame Hazel gave up raising chickens. I miss having those farm fresh eggs every morning. Uh, you tell me I should, like, build a coop? Uh, let's see. Nope. All right. We'll just have to keep getting what we get. And, oh, man. All right. She's closed. <sighs> I think the mine might be the best way to make money. Ooh, yes. I have the wheat you wanted. Better get that meatless grinder going. Or, uh, whatever you use to make Satan. Oh, yes. Give me a day to make it, then drop by my store for some fresh seitan. And in the meantime, fair wages for fair work. Oh, hell yeah. 600. Thank you, Kim. Hell yeah. <sighs> Bruno and Lena are lucky to have family here. I mean, yeah, I moved away from the city to get some space for my family, but... I do miss them sometimes. Woohoo! We's got money. Oh man, looks like everyone's closed. It's only Monday, it's only 2.20. <sighs> Fine. Do you think Angus would ever try using a sugar substitute in his baking? I love his treats, but they're so sweet. 
Um, and, <laughs> like, sweets are good. Oh, that reminds me. No, <laughs> no, I'm not going to have anything sweet. I mean, I can, but I already had a donut today. <laughs> oh, when will it be summer already? I'm working on it. What? what? Nothing. What? <laughs> Wow, like, what? I love working in my garden and the feeling of soil in my hands. I just don't like it under my fingernails. Some people think of craftsmen as being all right with dirt, but I'll tell you right now, the second most important tool in my toolbox is a decent nail brush. Okay. I'm gonna need to get a second piggy bank. All my savings don't fit in my first one anymore. Aww. Hooray! What can I... Ooh, I just thought of something. But we'll have to wait until... Um, like, the next day. Because I just thought of something. Maybe if I... Uh, run over by Natalia, we can look to see how much it's going to cost to upgrade. Probably the pickaxe first. Yeah, I was thinking which one would be better. Oh, Shelby's here. Hi, Shelby. Have you ever been by the Consciousness Center, Shelby? Why would I want to do that? Heard that Cameron's always going on about walking the path. Huh. Never seen him set foot in these woods, I'll tell you that. Okay, so what do I have that I could, ooh, sell? Yes, okay, 46. Twenty. Ooh, 100. Okay, I'll sell that definitely. Thank you. I need that. I need that seaweed. Okay, we'll just get rid of that. Mandrake, I think I need. So, what did I say? Ten? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, shoot. Now we'll just get rid of that. We'll get rid of those. All right. Whoo! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Thank you, Shelby. Oh, Bruno. Otto started going to that newfangled consciousness center. Wants me to go too. He's hoping he'll make me a teetotaler like him. I expect. But you know what makes a man thirsty? Sitting on a hard bench for two hours. Oh, you got that right. I know. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Use a small fish. Come on. Big fish. Big fish. Give me a big fish. Big fish. No, go away, little fish. I don't want you. Go away. Oh, Come on. Ooh, a black crappy. Okay. Cool. Uh, eh, excuse me, you, Bruno. I'm trying to run through. Um, I see little fish. Nope, I don't want them. Nope. Oh, hell yeah. Come on, I see big fish. Oh, dang it. And then a recipe? No, come on, I don't want... Oh, yes, I'll take that. I'll take that. The bottle will just have to go away. Catfish, thank you. All right. 
Use our last worm. I need the big fish. Big fish. No, go away. Go away, little fish. Go away. No. Go away. Go away. Go away. I want the big fish. Big fish. I want. Thank you. Gotcha. Although we lost the bottle, we'll just have to keep, you know, seeing what we get. Ooh, another catfish. Thank you. Ooh, hell yeah, the flowers are in bloom. We need those. Hell yeah. Kitty. Hi, kitty. Hey, kitty. All right. Ooh, perfect. We have just enough. Well, I mean, we will be running back home anyway. But we have enough energy. So if we found anything that we could have done, then yay. But oh, I mean, the money. We can't even say we're in the money yet, but yep. All right. Everything and anything we're going to be doing now is all for the money. Uh, okay. All right, we gave the wheat to Kim. Potatoes have one day. Again, cauliflower too. That is ready. That is ready, but we're not going to do anything yet. Nope. Nope. Oh. If we could wait maybe a couple more days, we can get this honey... Oof, yeah. Is it time for bed? Yes. <sighs> All right, so let's see where we get tomorrow, especially with the honey. Because I'd like the honey. Oh, and it's raining no less. Oh, yay. We don't have to do anything. Hi, kitty. Hey, kitty. What are you doing here? Hmm. Should I let you stay with me? Yes. Yes. Because I want a kitty. Cat is Tara's pet. Look at that. Aw. Pretty kitty. Hi, kitty. Ooh, yes, weeds. Ooh, weeds. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Not a whole lot, but come on. Ooh, I see weeds. Ooh, no, 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 no. Go away. Ooh, all right. I see a rock. Or a little stone. Oh, nope. All right. Oh, yes. Weeds. Yes. Weeds. Alrighty. Tuesday, Natalia. Yes, Natalia's open. Thank you. They say spring is a time when love is in the air, but the only thing in the air around here is smoke from my forge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the only thing around here is like, you know, pollen, uh, sneezing, whatever. All right, so if I were going to, okay, so the copper, it would be the copper pickaxe and the copper axe. So I would need three copper ingots. I have the wood. Although I would need more. And that's 250. 
And same with the axe. Okay. So we have to really go down into mines and start getting everything we can so that we can upgrade both the axe and the pickaxe. And that's 500 right there. Oof. All right, the watering can, I would need five iron. That's 250. Oh, man. See, everything takes a whole lot. All right, shovel. What do I need? Oh, 20. Ay, ay, ay. Each one is five. 20. That's a hundred. All right, that's 10. Okay, that's 20. 250. Shoot. Okay, we're just going to have to keep fishing and do everything else we can. But, yeah. Okay, so copper, silver, and gold. Those are the upgrades. You know what? I need the shovel. Oh, dang it. Alrighty. Uh... Okay. But we've got the shovel. We need to get clay. Because there is clay on the board. That if we get enough clay, we can get money for that. Oh, I see a big fish. Come on, big fish. Come on, big fish. Oh, got one. Okay, what are you? Oh, a perch. Okay. Cool. Alrighty, so... Um... That'll grab later. That'll grab later. No, 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 no. We don't want to expel too much energy. Oh, heck yeah. I see a whole lot of yes, yes, and yes. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, grab all those later. And it seems like, um, like from the last few times I was playing, um, it seems like, you know, each level regenerates a whole lot of stuff. So even after you, um, like, complete each level, you leave, come back in, Kind of, sort of, the same as Stardew. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Really? Oh, yes. I was able to grab that right away. Um, like how in Stardew Valley, uh, each level in the mines in Stardew, you get more and more rocks. So, in here, 
you basically, you know, get more and more rocks to get copper, iron, silver when you get down that far. Um, the, um, bleh, the, the clay thingies that, you know, I've been getting, uh, the real light pinkish kind of, you know, mounds that you see, those kind of like regenerate too, these right here, you know. Um, so it's kind of like the same principle like Stardew that everything regenerates. Okay, I'm not seeing any more. Oop, there we are. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. I see two more piles. Now, even though you're just using a shovel, your energy still dissipates. It's just how the game is, but... Oh, man, where did the other one go? Oh, there. Okay, I was able to go behind it. Um, ooh! Mushroom. Stone. Mushroom. No, 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 okay. So this one, we were just looking for the key, but again, we're going to have to come back because I want a whole lot of energy and... No, crap, stop it. See, at least with the shovel... You know, you're only using, like, scoop and that's it. But, <sighs> okay, so that's everything that I could find right now, since she's all out of energy. All right, so we will head back out. It is 6.40, okay. We already told the high priestess the other day that, you know, we still have a lot to do yet, so we're not going to change the season. Ooh, I'm potato. all out of strength. I yeah, created some okay. food to recover okay. some strength. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we know. All right. Um, so that's ready. That's ready. This will be ready, I believe, tomorrow as well, or the next day. One more day. Um, okay, so we still have some time before the thing happens. Is it time for bed? Yep, time for bed. All right, looking out over that area, I don't see any weeds. All right, Grandma. What's your plan today? Going to do some farming? Maybe explore some more? Um, farming, yes. Explore the mines, yes. Oh, yes! Honey is ready. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, everything is ready.
All right, soil, we don't even really have to worry about because, you know, we constantly make it. So, oh, yes. So now that we have the crops, ooh, ooh, I see another big fish. Um, okay, come on, big fish. Come on, big fish. Come on, big fish. Yes. Ooh, walleye. Hell yeah. All right, we got a thistle there. I don't, I only see a small fish. I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna fish over there. Ooh, weed. Stone! Oh! Wow! I ran right past that weed. Okay, that's good. Okay. Got that weed. Um, alright. We'll expel energy and... We'll grab big logs. Oop, I see the kitty over there, so we'll go say hi to kitty. Oop, mushroom. Weed. So, oh, I see another weed. Okay, so, um, we got everything. We will probably change the season today. Okay. Now, um, what all do I need again, which is what I need to find out. You'd think working with teeny tiny jewels would translate to Francis having some precision in the kitchen, but it doesn't. Don't get me wrong, my boo can cook, but... There's a 50-50 chance of him getting injured. Signature dishes or might need stitches. There's no in-between. And yes, every, you know, every so often, yes, we're going to have hear the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, you know, from all the characters. You've got a lot going on. But if you ever want some moral support, come by the Consciousness Center. Everyone there is really nice. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think so, but whatever. Oh, no. Okay, three of that. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, see, I don't have enough. But I would have enough to make that, but nope, because I need copper. Alrighty, so we're just going to have to try to eat and get whatever we can. Angus keeps wanting me to be his guinea pig for his more inventive pastry creations. Ooh. But not all baked goods are worth the calories, to be brutally honest. Oh, wow. Oh, wait a minute, can I sell you something? Oh, no. Wait a minute. I have those? Are you serious? Oh, no, I don't. I don't. Then why would you say you could also sell when I don't? 
Okay, confused. All right, I got those two. I would avoid the woods after dark. What? Strange people have been seen there at night. I mean, so I'm told. Yeah, whatever. Parker keeps asking me if I might get some cherry branches in. And I'm like, Parker, they're in season for two whole weeks out of the year. And the milk water florist always gets a jump on all the good stock before it can make it on the ferry. Well, wow. Um... Shoot. No, I need the flowers. Oh, dang it. Out of the way, bird. I asked Daddy if we could build a zip line to get from our house to the store quicker, but he said that idea was technically infeasible. Then he said he'll give me a piggyback ride there whenever I want it. So, I guess that's just as good. Well, what a little lazy butt. So you used to live in a really cool city and chose to move here? Like, on purpose? Okay. It'd be cool if Parker bought the flower shop from Violet. He nerds out over them the same way she does stitching. At the same time, he's built me some pretty sick ramps. It'd blow to see him give that up too, I guess. The older kids always pull out their phones as soon as school's over. I'm like, hello, you're ignoring a perfectly good swing set. Okay, she's got a good point. Cameron is really the leader this community has been waiting for. Oh, spiritual leader, I mean. Obviously, my husband is doing a fantastic job. Are you sure about that? Wow. Eh, like, you know, I don't think so. Hey, Parker. Hey there, little miss. Is everything okay, Parker? You've known Lena for a long time, right? Only a little from when we were kids. But we didn't see each other for many years. Why? Oh, nothing. It's funny. Even after 10 years together, it feels like there are so many things about her I don't yet understand. Wow. Oh my goodness, I just saw... Whoa! Heck yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm just moving along in this game and... Yeah, we're going... We're going on four hours. That's fine with me. I mean, when it hits four hours, I guess I'll, <laughs> I'll finally be ready to end, but I love playing this game. I love this game a lot. I guess that's why I restarted it, just to do it all over again, cause you know, <laughs> I love playing it. Um, wow, Shelby ain't outside, man. All right, ooh. Big fish. I see a few big fish. All right. What do I got? All right. We'll use a cricket. Come on. Give me big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Oh. No, go away, little fish. Oh. Okay, I'll got take one. you. But I want the other big fish. A bluegill. Fine. Can I go back? <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'll use up my last... Wow, what happened to the other big fish? Oh, yes! Dang! Hello? Uh, catfish, hang on one sec. Hello there, Casey Lee. 
Um, it's actually evening for me. Where are you located? Uh, you're in the afternoon. Okay, so you're um, possibly on the other side of the world. Or you're a few hours behind me. Welcome on in. This is the rock stage. <laughs> um, my name is Prissy. Of course. Uh, I... You're in Australia. Oh, well, happy down under. Hello there. <laughs> I have a few friends who live down there. Hi there. All right, so I'm assuming that you have played this game before or have seen it played. Um, what brought you into my channel? You do? Oh, my God. Right? Did you play it all the way through to the end of the first year? Um, yeah, I think that's how they, they had it. Because it, it's like you go from spring to spring. And then when you end spring year one... I think it is. Then you get a letter in the mailbox. I think that's how it was. Um, I did. And I kept on playing. It's not that I did not like... Sorry, my hand is falling asleep. Um, I'm terrible. I am on my third playthrough. Still haven't finished year one yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> you just keep resetting, don't you? I, yeah, okay. Hey, I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Um, <laughs> I did the demo first. I was gifted the game. And it was like, okay, well, I want to play the demo first so I can get a feel of the game, you know, how things are going to move along, whatever. Because really, you've got choices, as you know. So, it's like, you know, oh my God, depending on the scenario, you're like, this works, but that works, but yet that works too. So, yeah, you know, um, but no, when I basically just restarted where I was last time, I ended up marrying someone I wasn't really keen on marrying, you know? And it's like, well, let me try it, do it all over again. And let me see if I can get the other person or possibly the other people. I'm not sure yet. So, yeah, you know. So, yeah, that's kind of like what I'm doing right now, you know? Although, um, I obviously, you know, in the beginning, I was on the, um, in Steam. I was in the, uh, community board area, and some people were kind of griping, you know, because what happens like what I'm about to do, you know, in a little bit here, people were griping um, that things in their real personal lives, it affected them in such a way that, yeah, okay, well, it affected me too, but I'm not going to gripe about it. It's how the developers created the game, you know? So, yeah. I'm actually considering starting a new save today and choosing a new relationship. <laughs> I wish I could have Mary. But thank you. Me too. I thought the same thing. But, you know, I'll... Let's keep working at it. 
because I know you have to have 10, I think it's 10 hearts, 8, 10, but I don't know, I'm going to work on that too, because that's who I wanted in the very beginning, because she was just, you know, it's Violet, she's just so cool, okay, but then, you know, Amira gives her little, like, uh, side, side glance, side comment, if you will, and you're like, whoa, wait a minute, what? What? So, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, I'm just kind of going to work on it, you know. And, of course, you know, all right, playing it as, I'd say, quote, unquote, many times as we've had, you know, you're in this area right here. I already know who everyone is. So when that, you know, when that time comes, you know, okay, fine. I can just run up and go, hi, here, this is what you wanted. Hi, here, this is what you wanted, you know. So yeah, Amira is one hell of a flirt. I, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, thank you. It's like, oh my god, you know. What kind of witch will you be? A good witch? There are no good witches or bad witches. Only good or bad actions. Another one, as you continue playing the game and you repair certain things and whatever. Um, I like Kim. Don't get me wrong. You know, they're okay. One time, I messed up my proportions when I was making a big bat of Miracle Grow. I tested it on a mushroom, and it exploded to like ten times its original size. <gasps> what did you do? I stuffed the mushroom in my bag and took it home. Duh. Fresh produce is expensive. Girl, oh my god. Uh, but another one is Giva. Oh, uh, I like Giva. She, she is cute. Try to not blow off any arms or legs while trying Dude. out new spells. It's harder to stay in secret society that way. Wow. The past is wrapped up with the future. Understanding one unlocks the other. Okay. Alrighty, so now for the moment of truth that, you know, none of us really want to do, but... Uh. Are you sure I can handle finding the things you need for something as important as changing the seasons? Why would you doubt yourself? I guess my life was kind of falling apart when I came to Fairhaven, so... But look at everything you've done since you got here. Which is true. Okay, are we ready? I brought the spirit flame potion. Well done. Be aware that the crops that thrive in spring will wilt under the summer sun. And I already it's plucked them all. It's best to finish any tasks that still need to be done. Now, are you ready to say goodbye to spring? No, because I know what's coming, but yes. Yes, I am ready for some summer sun. Wonderful. Let us begin. Take your place in the circle. Okay. And so we begin the turning of the seasons, just as our ancestors have done for thousands of years. Novice, pour the spirit flame into the sacred bowl to ignite our fire. We say goodbye to the gentle sun of spring. We welcome the golden dawn of summer. Um, yes, we turn the seasons, like they said. <laughs> And we all know who this person is. If you got that far and, you know, you found out. Ta-da! <laughs> but... Oh. 
Honey Bee. You're here. Of course I am, Grandma. For a moment, I thought you were Robert coming to collect me. I, I felt a warm breeze. Yes, we turn the seasons. That's all. <laughs> still a skeptic, I see. But there is still so much you haven't seen. Still so much to learn and do. Oh, I've done my best to take care of Violet since her mother disappeared. Don't worry. I promise I'll be here for her. I know you will, sweetheart. You're going to do great. I'm proud of you. I'm so glad you came back to see me. <sighs> me too. I just wish we had more time. We had <laughs> time enough. <laughs> You've learned how to run the farm. I'll take good care of it for you. And I know you can bring the community and the coven together. Promise me? You'll remember everything I've taught you? I promise. You will be a marvelous witch. I can already see your powers blooming. It's time for me to rest. Take care. My beautiful little honeybee. I love you. <laughs> Goodbye, Grandma Hazel. I'll take up your mantle and protect the town. You can rest now. Today, we say goodbye to one of this town's finest citizens, Hazel Wilde. Her dear friend Lena is going to say a few words. Hazel was my mentor. Yes, but she was more than that. She was always giving advice, a bowl of soup, a basket of fresh eggs. She never ever gave up on those she loved. And she loved this island more than anything. And now she's given us Terra. Oh, we are so glad you're here. It means Hazel hasn't really left us. Thanks, Lena. Hello. You're Hazel's granddaughter? I'm Wesley. I've never seen you around before. Oh, I, I don't live in Fairhaven. Oh, I see. So you came over on the ferry from Milkwater. Well, thanks for taking the time to come all that way. Um, of course. I wanted to come pay my respects. Hazel was a wonderful friend. Oh, um, and I uh, have this for you. I run a rare bookshop, you see. Hazel had me fix the binding on this old family heirloom. I know she would have wanted you to have it. Oh. Uh, th th thank you so much. Well, I should go. Nice to meet you, Tara. Nice to meet you, too. Wait, that's not the way to the ferry. That was a part that kind of got me. It's like, dude, you know, although he didn't say where exactly he lived, he just said that he wasn't from Fairhaven. So, okay, you know. Hi. I've been meaning to stop by, but I, I didn't want to intrude. Oh, my heart goes out to you. Hazel was a truly decent person. Strong, too. I see a lot of her in you. Thanks. Made you something? Of course, I'm not much of a cook, but I can keep a fire lit under a pot at least. Hazel was a true friend and a darn good steward of her land. I'll miss her. I know what it's like to lose someone you were close to. A kind word would have meant a great deal to me then. You have my sympathies. Thanks, Vanessa. I didn't really know Hazel, but I can tell from the way people speak about her that she was special. Thanks. She was. Have you had anything to eat today? Would you like something to take home? That's so thoughtful of you, Kim. I really appreciate it. I 
I'm grateful that Hazel was still her same fiery self right until the end. My father isn't so fortunate. Oh, Tara, I'm so sorry. How stupid of me. I can't imagine how you must feel. It's okay. I'll miss her. She was a wonderful mentor and a steadfast friend. I'm sorry about your grandma. My grandpa's gone too. Well, not gone, gone, but he's at Harmony Acres. It's this place in Milkwater for old folks who can't remember anymore. I don't like going that much. I don't blame you. That sounds hard. Yeah, but at least we get to take the ferry over. I love taking the ferry. Hazel was ready. She knew it was her time, but it's still all right to be upset and to mourn her. You deserve that space for yourself. Hazel was a special lady and one heck of a good baker. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. She would have wanted me to make sure that you're well fed, so here. Try some of this. Thanks, Angus. Look, Tara. I'm real sorry about Hazel. She was a special lady. I'll be sure to raise a glass to her at the bar. My own grandma helped raise me while my parents were working night shifts in the city. I miss her every day. My heart goes out to you. Thank you. And sorry about your grandma. Cameron says we just have to work to live up to their hopes for us. I'll try. My deepest sympathies for the loss of your grandmother. Thank you. I don't think she ever voted for me. But that's not what matters now. You no doubt have a lot on your mind, but I need to tell you that your grandmother left everything to you. The farm, the house, all of her possessions are yours now. She did? <sighs> Thanks for letting me know. I know you're still processing these sorrowful events, but I fervently hope that you will decide to stay. Look, I'm really sorry to hear about Hazel. This is a tough deal. Thanks. I'm not great at these situations. Um, let me know when you're feeling better. Hey, this might be like weird or whatever, but Juliet and I, we're, we're part of a, a grief group. It, it's for kids, but you can come if you want. I, I don't think anyone would care. I just can't believe Hazel's really gone. Since my dad moved away for work, things got lonely. Hazel was there for us. She made me feel like everything was going to be okay. I wish I could have done more to help her. If only we had more time. There's nothing anyone could have done. Don't blame yourself. Take care of yourself. There are people here who will help you. We need to stick together. Thanks. In times of loss, it could be tempting to wallow in grief, but I don't think that's what your grandmother would have wanted for you. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that is a really good point. Come by the Consciousness Center anytime. We're here to help. I only knew your abuela a short while, but she was a lovely person. I'm so sorry. Thanks. Look, honey, if you have an heirloom you want me to adjust for you, I'm happy to do it, free of charge. Hey, I'm seriously bummed on your behalf. This is just really heavy, brah. Thanks, Kai. Today, when I paddle out, I'm gonna catch a bomb just for Hazel. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure that would have meant a lot to her.
I am so sorry about your grandma. She used to joke I would have to pry her secret cookie recipe from her cold, dead hands. <laughs> but I thought that's just Hazel being Hazel, you know? Uh, it's okay. I'm fine, really. You're being so brave. She would have been very proud. Thanks. Sorry about your gram. My dad said those we've lost never really leave us. I don't think it's true, though. He feels pretty gone to me. Did I speak to Finn? Oh, maybe? Um, my mom told me about your grandma. I'm sorry. You must be really sad, huh? Yes, but I'll be okay. I have an idea to cheer you up. Uh-uh. Wanna come help me and Emmy pull a prank on Messenger Cameron later? <laughs> We're gonna super glue all of his books of the mind to the chairs. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I think I'll sit this one out. That's too bad. Promise not to tell on us? Oh, don't worry. This conversation? Never happened. Alrighty, that looks like everybody. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna send Tara back. Oh, wait a minute, what's up here? Oh, wait a minute, nope. Hold on. Uh, if I can. Let's see, Sophia went back in here. Nope. Okay, so I guess I'll just have to wait until the next day. Because I've got that one for Amira, that one for Sophia. So, alrighty. I guess. Uh, I'm back. Sorry, my two-year-old decided to cause havoc. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Alrighty, but we, we got through the, uh, the, the little funeral, if you will. Um, Tara talked with everybody, so I guess that is the end of that. I can't um talk really talk to anybody else uh until the next day so i've got the clay to do for sophia and amira we'll do that the next day so when we basically come back for the next day it'll be summer and we've got some money. We can get uh, summer flowers. We'll figure out what we can do to get summer seeds, crop seeds, see what's available. And then we'll go from there. But you guys, it is almost, we just hit four hours and 12 minutes. And it is just after... 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time here in the U.S. I am going to go relax, grab something to drink, maybe watch a movie or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure yet. So, but all I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who stopped in today. Thank you, Casey, for popping in from the other side of the world. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Wrangle in your two-year-old. <laughs> oh, I know they can be a handle. I have friends who have little ones. But for now, I will say my thank yous and good night. And I hope y'all have 
an enjoyable rest of your days, nights. I will catch you guys next time. I am off tomorrow and the next day. It is supposed to be a little chilly here again. Thank you. I'm not going anywhere. So, I'm not sure what time I'm going to be waking up. Because knowing me, I'll probably sit up late. Um, if I... Depending on the time I wake up, we'll see how I feel. I might come back to this now that we've done this and we're going to continue. Who knows? I might be already like in a couple days of summer. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. In the meantime, guys, let me head over to my OBS. Uh, but yes, I thank you again. We are going to go ahead I'm just going to go ahead and end the stream. I'm getting a little tired. I have a yawn coming. I'm trying to stifle it. So thank you again, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I will see y'all next time. For those of you who are here, who've been here, thank you for your lurk. Thank you for popping in. And we'll catch y'all next time. Bye. Have a good one.